Ben. Mm -hmm. Scrub, yes. We're very happy. It's Opie and Anthony. People were asking me just recently, where the hell has Louis C.K. been? And here he is. On the, what a coincidence. On the, on the television. <laughs> this is, uh, he doesn't have time for us. He's becoming a big star it's all over beyond, the place. Beyond, yeah. All I hear are raves about your special, too. Oh, like, thank Everybody's you. like, oh, my God, I saw Louis special. and Chewed up. It was Chewed amazing. Up. Unbelievable. Thanks, Still available on demand, too. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thanks, how you been, Lou? I'm real good. How are you? You're just talking about cars and how amazing it is that you can pretty much just steal a car. Yeah, it was, car. I think it's called stealing at this point. The ad was like I said, five hundred dollars. Yeah, we just had an ad. Yeah. Yeah. you get a car for like five ninety nine or something. Yeah, why not five hundred bucks? Yeah, like, go ahead. Please just buy something off my lot. I I'm starving. My kids are dying. <laughs> no, yeah, we're doing real well. No, and GM stock is down to what it was in like World War Two now or something or World War whatever. I bought. One? I've been buying that one. Really? Yep. Is that bye, a good bye, idea? Bye. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, stock it's a dollar you own it's like the company. Going down the track. Who cares? Better know a horse. A little bit of a long shot. Buy a GM vehicle for five hundred, or better yet, just buy GM. Yeah. For seven hundred dollars. That's what I do. I think I'm a fifty-one percent shareholder now. Yeah. Everyone worries. else dumped. I bought it, and um, I'm running the company. You're back to Man, day trading. I noticed. Why? You're getting some nice little deals there, or what? No, I, I'm I'm keeping it. I'm and when keeping are you gonna like longer than I have? And when are you gonna pass the savings on to your pals? Because you're you're in the know a little bit. It looks like I'm not really in the know. It's a lot of you know use the force, Luke kind of things mm. I do, back and forth. You know, only use risk capital. Yeah. No, you're That's like it. those uh, Arabs in the beginning of the movie Patton, just looking through. Dead, oh yeah, yeah. Looking through the pockets of dead soldiers. <laughs> yeah, you might That's find all something. I'm to make a little money <laughs> at other people's expense. I don't care. Yeah, you know. Find a pair of dice and a you know an old you Colt. Do is, you know, the stock goes down. You you buy some uh, call options mm -hmm. and you wait for it to go up. You buy some put options. You wait for it to go down. It's very volatile right now. There are stocks that if you look move up and down. Uh, big swings um, on weekly, at least weekly basis. Sure. You look at a stock like um, Google. Uh, on, a, on a weekly basis, that thing is swinging sometimes 16 bucks a day back and forth. Yeah. So if you buy puts and call options on it, you're not paying the full price for the stock. And then you wait for the thing to tank. And then you cash in. So it's yeah. that easy. We American should all be bank. doing it then. Yeah, no, stock's like making the... money. It's losing money. I'm making money. I don't care either way. Hmm. It's like the guys that uh, like guys that work in a morgue and they have a death pool. Right. Like every day, <laughs> like amongst the cancer patients. That's how many dead people they bringing in today. Yeah. I don't, but what, why should why should By the I care? Award, I guess. Should why I should I care? No. Yeah. Make money. <clears throat> it's actually, I, smart. You're you're doing a benefit tomorrow at uh, Caroline's. Caroline's, yeah, in for, New York for PlayStation Three. That's no. crazy. <laughs> So my daughter fit for PS3. That's, PS3. I, is I love my... PS3. I got to go there and <laughs> put them out. I, I need one. So <laughs> yeah, it's a, a kid's school. That's uh, it's my daughter's school, public school three. What the hell is wrong? You're with giving your... back. What's wrong with your kid's school? The, all the money's going away. Really? Yeah. No, the city's cutting all the budgets. Oh, that's true. And, wow, that's and, a nice thing of you. I'm, well, it's my kid's serious. school. I would, all right, it's a little selfish. If I had no child in the school. <laughs> I would throw rocks at it. <laughs> yeah. Just, just to be mean because it's funny. <laughs> Couldn't care less about That's someone else's right. stupid, ugly child and his education. See their awful drawings knocked out of the window? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no one, I've earmarked the money for just my daughter's care. <laughs> no other child is allowed to access a penny of it. She has a brand new computer. They're eating dust mites. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's being taught by a Harvard professor, just one on one in, in the classroom. And do you go to like your daughter's stuff at school, like recitals? And well, because she... Anthony ruined it for every parent out there. We were just talking about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. How you go there and you're, you know, you, you think your kid's special, and the reality is They're they not. just they just suck. No oh. standout talent at a friggin' sixth, <laughs> this fifth grade recital or anything like that. No. There's no standout talent. It's horrible. You go to a school play, none of them can sing or dance. They just suck. Once in a million, you're going to get a talented kid. Yeah. Well, it's not, you don't go to enjoy the show. I mean, it's it's really yeah. narcissistic, stupid parents that shouldn't have had kids. Yeah. That hope their kids are good at something. Could, yeah. That's not why you go. You don't go because, like, oh, my kid has maybe gifted at singing. No, your kid stinks. Welcome. But you're making your kid you're making your your kid feel good by going. That's why you yeah, go. Yeah, that's why you go. So they could look out and go, where, 
they're all looking and gawking. Do the show. Yeah. Don't yeah. look for your parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's another thing that just wrecks everything. You know way too much about it's this. Elwood Junior High's production of Grease. Ah, mm. oh, fantastic. Got to listen to a musical of people that can't sing. Mm -hmm. I went to little, little I went... five fifth, fifth grade kids singing about getting laid and yeah, yeah, yeah. things like that. Yeah, and yeah, too. Yeah. Sexy dancers. <clears throat> Do you think it's like Shake Shack? <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad if the children don't sing well to hit them in the dressing room? I think that would probably straighten out those vocals. <laughs> they come back. They come back out. Their faces all pink. They got <laughs> water in their eyes. Yeah, beat them. <laughs> Being slapped. Yeah. The costumes suck. The sets suck. Yep. Because they're all made by you know the kids. Yep. They 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 put them. All right. Well, you're not in the play, but we'll make you in charge of the sets. And it's just that horrible paint on construction mm -hmm. paper and. And the lighting kid is some dope up in the uh, top, and he's, <laughs> you can't even keep the spot on the star. <laughs> There's horrible productions. Yeah, Non-union. Yeah, non non -union. That must have been it. That's the problem with that. <laughs> That's the thing. Well, yeah, but then people like got all <laughs> mad at me because like, they go to their kids' shows and then realize, oh my god, this does suck. Yeah. Like t you take out the fact that you I don't know why they're bringing it. you. I don't know if you don't have if it's not your kid, you shouldn't bring other grown-ups and make them go because oh, no. it's a support thing. It's not. No. It's not for the, but I, I go. I might. I go with my daughter on uh, trips uh, with the school. Oh, the field trip. Oh, okay. On field trips, I'll chaperone, mm -hmm. and I go sometimes, and I I volunteer for lunch recess, um, because that's a mess. There's nobody there doing it. Right. Lunch so the recess, kids, yeah. kids don't get to. They get ten minutes to eat and twenty minutes to play, and that's it. They're back every day. It's too crowded. Back into their cells. <laughs> yeah, it really is like a prison cafeteria, uh, <laughs> but. Uh, I went on a trip once to the Botanical Gardens in the Bronx oh, with my oh, kids. More yeah. fest. Yeah. Uh, holy plants. You know, yeah, exactly. Holy plants. That's going to hold a bunch of first graders' attention. Yeah. Mm. But so we go up there, and we're on a bus, on a school bus. And it kind of gave me an insight into how the system works, because the school bus, I think of it as like it's the school's com bus company. Uh -huh. These people drive school buses for the school. It's just a bus that the teacher called in, a yellow bus driven by some idiot. I mean, it's like, so we get on the bus, and the guy turns to me. I'm the first parent behind him, and he goes, uh, do you know how to get there? I'm like, what? Yeah, he asked me, do you know how to get there? I'm like, no. And he goes, can you find out how to get there? So we're in the West Dude, Village. I never remember stuff like this when I was. Yeah, so I trip. call up on my phone. I, I say, just go to the Bronx. We're going yeah, to the yeah. Bronx. So we're on the West Side Highway, and I call the lady, I call the Bronx Botanical Gardens, and I go, hi, I'm in a school bus full of children on the West Side Highway. I need to know how to get to you. And the lady says, you can't take a school bus on the West Side Highway. That's illegal. <laughs> and I say this, this is a true story. I say this to the parent next to me, and she goes, yeah, this is not okay. This is really bad. <laughs> Jesus. And it occurs to me, I've never seen any large vehicle on the West Side you Highway. Oh, now that you mention yeah. it. <laughs> and when it gets up into the Bronx, it's twisty and turny, and it's not okay. And we're and you're forced into a high speed of traffic because it's y crazy. Yeah, yeah. And so we go under an underpass, and I swear to God, we scrape the top <laughs> of the bus. The whole bus goes and shakes. Oh, <laughs> and I swear to God, the bus driver yells, "Oh, shh!" You know. Yeah. 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 Oh crap! What you yell when that happens? Yeah. And then the rest of the underpasses, he kind of ducks his own head down, really, <laughs> <laughs> like he kind of crouches. Aims to the arch in the middle. It's a little higher. Uh, <laughs> but we got up there and uh, nobody. I you know I brought waters. I asked the teacher like, should I get a bunch of bottles of water? And she's like, I guess. And I thought, well, that's because I'm like over parenting. No, it's because she just didn't care if people yeah, drank water. <laughs> and nobody brought sunblock. All like a lot of kids died. It was really. <laughs> it really was like. That just sounds like abuse. Yeah, what the hell? It was a disaster. But you know what? The kids, we they we packed these kids, these heated, it was like summertime, these sweltering hot kids unfed into a little tiny classroom. They take you to these beautiful places, and they pack you in a classroom, and you have to listen to somebody. Oh, God. But the woman showed them how a seed becomes a plant. Yeah. Totally riveted audience. Oh, really? Totally fascinated. She was killing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was killing. <laughs> I learned a lot <laughs> about how plants grow. Right, yeah, well, I didn't know that an apple Boring. is is food for the seeds inside of it. I thought it. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Nor do I care now that I do. <laughs> <laughs> I hate apples even more now. I uh, I, I remember field trips when I was a kid, going out on a field trip, and you'd mm -hmm. have to get your permission slip and uh, your parents sign. But I used to like having my mommy go on there because I was such a mommy's boy, crybaby little 
wimpy ugh, girl. Girl. I was. And uh, I, I used to like my mommy to go. Yeah. But the the really bad thing is, like, I used to make her dress up like a whore. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I really used to make her dress up like a whore. What do you mean you made her dress up? Well, where, where are those pumps, Mom? My, like, you'd make no, her... No, worse, because it, like, it was like the early 70s and stuff, and my mother was... She, she worked in, like, nightclubs. She was a go-go dancer and stuff like that. <laughs> like, my mom had it going well, on. There was a whore then. Back in those <laughs> early days. Yeah. So... I'd go like, could you wear those uh, the knee high boots and <laughs> and the red so patent weird. leather mini skirt uh -huh. and could you put your hair in pigtails? And I swear she would and she would do all this. Wow. She, she put her hair in pigtails and all the like kids would be like, oh, your mom is so pretty. <laughs> and, and I felt like good, like I felt all good. And, oh, wow. and and we went we went to go see, you're a good man, Charlie Brown at Radio mm. City Music Hall. And uh, mom is a field mother, and uh, she wakes up that morning. We're supposed to leave, and she goes, oh, "Anthony, I'm so sick. I'm so sorry. I can't go." <laughs> I start crying, and she's yeah. like, "All right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do something." Yeah. So she's swigging Pepto Bismol. She was hung over oh to the point God. where she's puking. She got a horrible hangover. Now she's got to get what <laughs> on some diesel-y bus, oh, yeah. dressed like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> with her daughter's son. Yeah, with her crying daughter's son. Her boy girl is, is in the passenger seat. <laughs> and we get there, and I'm making her, you know. Oh, I thought you meant her dinner. daughter's son, like uh, no, Sarah Palin, just... like her. No, no, her no, daughter no. had a kid. She was covered. No, Palin's kid had more girl. dignity than this. Oh, I was just a <laughs> drop of a hat, and I was whimpering and weeping oh, yeah. as a child. Uh, so when she said she couldn't make it, I was just. <laughs> I lost my mind. She had to go and get her hair in pigtails and get the friggin' patent leather mini skirt oh, fishnet. Pigtails for mom, huh? I made her put in. I go put in the pigtails. Oh, it explains a lot, doesn't it? No kidding. No. <laughs> what is going on in your head? God. What? Oh, my God. I didn't even make that connection until you said days. that. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> like, that's so weird. Backwards. You think? Oh, you think? Well, most people end up screwed up because they were molested by their parents, but you're yeah. screwed up because you molested your parents. I was trying to molest my parents. <laughs> it's totally opposite. Yeah. I was trying to molest my mom uh, at the time, I guess. Wow. Dressing Creepy. her up. Did you like kids' music growing up? What? Did you like kids' music growing up, like little children's songs? Um, yeah, I think I did. Ugh. Like for a certain portion of my life, not like in you know, a twelve. Three okay. thirsty mice. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You set up bastard. <laughs> set up his own joke. You set me up, what? ass. <laughs> I bombed before with a thirsty mouse joke. Uh -huh. Jimmy's really letting me forget it. <laughs> work it the rest of the oh, day. Oh. Yeah, I was wondering why you were. I was like, that's not really that pertinent. Oh no, <laughs> believe me, it was uh, it was Nagasaki all over. No, I started going to the trips. I started going to the trips with my kid because the teacher asked me to because they'd go to a show mm -hmm. and my daughter can't take a show. She gets really upset. Why drama? She gets really, really, really upset. Where does that come from? You think? I don't know. She takes things really uh, to heart. She's very sensitive. So how, how old? She's seven now. And but it's been like that her whole life. Like when she was three, I showed her a Char Charlie Chaplin movie, a Hard Times, and uh, she loved watching him fall down. It was fun. Yeah. And then there's this scene where him oh. and this other—he's poor in the movie. Violin music starts. Yeah. <laughs> Really sad, and him and this poor girl. It's not like he had an expressive face. No. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he and this other poor this poor girl break into a department store and start playing husband and wife in the department store. Hmm. And she says, "Are they married?" And I'm like, "Well, they're pretending they're married." She thinks that's so cool. And then the cops come and they arrest him, no, no. and she just starts bawling. It's she was so <laughs> I, sad. I find that hysterical. Kids are stupid. And she's so sad for their lives being broken up. He's going to jail, and also she's also sad for America in the depression. Like that's the oh, wow. Like she just felt all of that. That so, kid's too yeah. perceptive. Yeah, she knows too many. Things. Maybe she it's said her. Maybe she said her dad didn't bring home some cartoons and instead <laughs> was indulging his own whimsy with a Chaplin film. <laughs> that's absolutely right, Jim. <laughs> That's absolutely right. She's taking on the world's problems at an early age. Yeah.
Yeah. Oh my god. But so we we uh, the the teacher asked me to go to trips because yeah. she would always scream and run out of the room when stuff happened in these shows. People are saying so she I come along. Cried less than me though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I used to try to talk her out. Like I, I I we went to a show once with these little puppets and it was a moment that was really. A little over the top, like they overdid it. Some puppet goes, "Those look like rubies." Oh no, it's, it's a dragon's eyes, and she's the puppet starts screaming and gets eaten. And my daughter, the scream that she let out with her like hands on over her ears, oh no, is some I'll never forget. I'll never Holy forget Jesus. it. It is the most frightening sound I've. It was the sound of somebody being killed. Ugh. Really? And uh, so I dragged her out. And uh, we're out, crap out we're outside, I just start hitting her. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. I was just hitting. Who, who yeah. thought it was okay that a kid could see something like that? I don't know. I mean, the other kids are like bored because they play, you know, PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. Uh. So they kill hookers <laughs> uh, on their TV all day. Yeah. So, so they can like, handle something yeah. like yeah, that. Dragon, your, right? Of course, makes Anthony cry. His mom was just like, "What? They're hurting my mommy. Leave my mommy alone. Why are you hitting my mommy with a crowbar? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Who's a good father? I'm oh, alright. So wait, what happened? Hey. Oh, so I took her outside, and I'm yeah. trying to. I'm, I'm. I feel like I felt at the time that my job as a father is to break her of these fears, and I'm saying, look, you got, if you're going to be able to enjoy some things, you got to. This isn't fear. This is about being thrilled. And she goes, but she argued forcibly and just said, no, I don't like being scared. When somebody scares me, I I get mad. I don't like it. I don't like when they do something scary without telling you it's going to be scary. And I don't see why anybody would want to feel that way. Like, she made such a case that I was right like, in the middle of her i got to respect this, you know? should have just went, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't look behind you. <laughs> All right, listen, we got to take a quick oh, break. Louis C.K. something. What a perceptive kid, though. Yeah, yeah. he's really smart. It's a, It's been a, a long time, Lou. Tomorrow night, you got the benefit for the PS3. It's a It's a kid's school. It's It's Louis. But it's just me school. doing in my hour and plus huge, comedy. Man. I'm not. Where nobody's educated. I hate when you do a benefit and. And, and they have to educate uh, they tell you. No, we got. You, we're here. We paid the money yeah. already. It's yeah. just a show. It's just me doing uh, a show. That, in Carolina. That's good to hear. And, and now we're going to hear why Louis is here. No. We are here today to get. Uh, yeah. Please donate. For our we, did. Program. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, Shut up. Tomorrow night, uh, Caroline's. Th this is going to be huge, and it's going to sell out. So uh, get your tickets now. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred for Louis C K tomorrow night, and then Saturday, uh, March fourteenth, down the road a little bit. They're not going to remember this, so they should just go to louisck.net for yeah. all your tour dates. But yeah. he's uh, he's playing in the Orpheum Theater in Boston on March 14th. Ooh. That's a huge show, and I'm probably taping it for my next special. Really? Yeah. Another special you're yeah. in? Wow. Well, you guys I'm really, are crazy. I'm really happy for you. What's the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, do you have a name for it yet or no? Hilarious, which is the tour I've been... That's the name of the tour I've been doing. Cool. So I, I'm done with it. I'm going to do shoot it probably in Boston, 99% sure. If not, then you know, one city down the road. And you, then uh, you ruined, then I'm done with that material. We've been talking about how we ruin things for listeners. You ruined the word hilarious for me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> because I saw you do your hilarious bit. Right. And I'm not going to attempt to do it here. Right. And I'm like, God, he is. Yeah. That observation is great. <laughs> just the overuse of the word, that people. Yeah. You know, I'll say that much. Yeah. How people just use that word. No, all the words, amazing and genius. Yeah. You know, yeah. when it's not amazing. No. It's not hilarious. Yeah, just wait. It's like that. Though, dude, the chicken wings are amazing. <laughs> really, you were amazed. <laughs> were you actually amazed, or you want to maybe like take it down and describe what they tasted like? <laughs> You got any descriptive words, jackass? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and if you can't remember what the chicken wings tasted like, ask the mice. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when you see a ghost? You yeah, know, that's yeah. lifting a mountain. What are you gonna say about that? <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly like the chicken wing I had. <laughs> Jackass. Piece of crap. Oh. Oh, sorry, Hateful honey. people. Sorry, yeah. I jumped in the middle of your line. Was just yeah. No, it's all right. The mouse thing was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was amazing. <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> You're a genius. I'm going to cry. Uh, <laughs> more with Louis C.K. in just a bit. Stay there. We got Louis uh, C.K. in studio today. He's playing Caroline's tomorrow night. 212-757-4100. I got to be honest, Lou. No one cares that it's a benefit for your no, it kids' school. Doesn't they just want to laugh, and they're going to go there and laugh because you're yep. great. It's that's, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's, yeah. In the end, the, the school will do well, though.
It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm raising a lot of money. I'm actually kind of bummed because it, now that the tickets are selling, I'm like, I could have kept that and given them like half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I already, you know, said Skim I Skim a little off the top, you know. Yeah, Caroline's is being cool, too. They're taking like five bucks a person, and that's it. So it's all going to the school. Good. It's all good. And um, Louis, uh, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, uh, I, I wish Louis would have brought something in today for me to buy. Every time you come in, like last they time, it thing. was that goddamn flip camera. Yeah, the flip and camera's awesome. I ran out and got yep. that thing and love it. Yep. And uh, I was like, God, and I have to tell everyone, I'm like, you know, Louis C.K. was on to this a lot, but because then it became like <laughs> everybody got one for Christmas and everything. But, like, Louis C.K. was on to this one. A while ago. Turned me on to it. Yeah. And the bastard turned me on to it before they came out with the next model, so I have two. You, uh, yes, so, so do I. Yeah. I have the HD and the yeah, non-HD. Yeah, the regular one. Yep. The regular one, uh, the non-HD one, I use... Um, I put, I roll it out on my targets at the range yeah. and shoot real close to it. So you get the front view of what it's like oh at a range God. to be down at the other end, the, the business end of the That's range. That's awesome. So if I hit it one day, eh, you know, who cares? That Where's awesome. that video? It's, oh, there's, there's one. It's, um, on, on YouTube. Very cool. It yeah. occurred to me that the, the success of those devices, it must make it easier for people who like, Murder people and then tape it. <laughs> <Yeah. You're laughs> like they used like, to. That's what Polaroid Polaroid film was created oh, for those yeah. people. Just a horrified so woman's face, <laughs> half naked, <laughs> in that awful in Polaroid HD. washed out yeah. color. Now you can get it like an HD or hear her scream. Yeah, exactly. And it's not with a clumsy camera on his shoulder. He's no. just holding it with one hand, holding her mouth closed with the other. Ah, uh, you know, if only, if only Hogan had lived long enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he would have been so amazed at the technology of the day uh, for uh, pornography and being clubbed over the head with a tripod. <laughs> Whatever the hell. <laughs> he, he was motivated. Oh, good. He was motivated. He had to set up that tripod and get everything just right, get the lighting right. Oh, was he fantastic. Mm. He was a bad a dirty, boy. Dirty boy he was. Yeah. Louis was saying that he's had uh, a few radio interviews he wants to talk about really quickly. Because ah. he goes around the country and he's, he's on a lot of radio shows. Yeah, everywhere. Are we yeah. one of the better ones, Lou? Oh, yeah, the, the best. I mean, isn't it? Well, you'd have no, to say that because you're here now. No, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. No. And then someone else is going to call you out like, oh, come on. I was just saying it because, you know. Yeah, who, who am I offending that I care about right now? Neil Bortz. <laughs> Neil Bortz. I don't know who that is. But no, I did, I, there, both of these things happen in, on shows that I like, actually. Uh, but and I don't even remember. The first one was, uh, just see if you can guess who the person was in the room that did this <laughs> in each show. <laughs> oh, you don't know the right. names, but the type of person it was. Yeah. I'm talking about, once I was talking about my uh, ankle being worn out, uh, it's a bit that I did. Heather know. Mills. <laughs> and I go, uh, I don't even really understand that. Septic, <laughs> septic model. <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> Just talking about people with no legs. <laughs> oh, okay. No legs? You said ankle, so I was assuming. <laughs> oh, ankle. Oh, I, oh, my God. I didn't really? say it was a home run, Lou, but I didn't, <laughs> wow. I didn't realize Better it. than a thirsty mouth. <laughs> what? A thirsty mouth? <laughs> thirsty mouth. <laughs> oh, no! I think it's a thirsty mouth. That's what no, I thought he said, said, too. No, a thirsty mouth. Yeah. Maybe I ought to leave the mice jokes <laughs> to Jimmy today. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lou. Go ahead. They're in his wheelhouse, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I was talking about um, being 40, I'm now I'm 41, and uh, and how when you go to the doctor, they don't try to fix anything anymore. I go to the doctor because my ankle hurt for three months, and the doctor just says, uh, yeah, your ankle's worn out. That's all. Wear and tear. Just take take lots of a leave. Yeah, that's what he said. And I'm like, well, what if I was an athlete? And he says, well, you're not an athlete, so no. <laughs> so we don't have to we worry keep about those it. options off the table. And so I'm grousing about that and getting some laughs. And so a person in that studio, this was on the radio, on the phone, goes, um, really? Because I would think at 40 you would still uh, be getting some uh, solutions from the doctor. The hole. Yeah, isn't that weird that it the was? The hole. The chick. I mean, they insist just all these... shuts and all the laughter stops. Yeah. That's, I would think that at 40 you would, the doctor would still come up with some options for you there. Thank you. Why did you... Fun Chris And so and there's, I... a pa there's a pause <laughs> and then I go... Yeah, he didn't, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm going with this oh. is that he didn't. That's oh. the engine of this piece of comedy. That's that's how it functions, is that it didn't. Get it, dummy? What are you helping by correcting the piece yeah. of comedy? You would think. The whole point of any uh. piece of comedy is that you're inflating and exaggerating <laughs> to a comedic effect. So it's the easiest thing to cut the legs out from under it. It's the easiest, stupidest, most worthless 
hope, thing to do. I hope you gave her this speech. No, I didn't. I just said, I said, I packed all of that into, uh, he didn't is what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> and I just sat there so mad. And then the rest of the interview, I'm just like, yeah, uh huh. And, and just answering questions, uh, yes or no. And I just want to get off the phone. Well, she doesn't understand because, again, we've said before that when, that when cer certain holes just leak brains and humor out of them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why when they're on a radio show, they just get up and their seat has funny on it. Uh, <laughs> but the mic has none in it. <laughs> no, it's like, it's like the fun of the show is a balloon and she literally put a, Vagina on the side of the balloon and let the fun let the fun out. They insist on having the women part of these oh. morning shows. And then there was another, that it. was somewhere in Pennsylvania. I don't remember where. And then there was yeah. a, uh, a show in Albany, and it's a show I really like doing. But uh, 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 we're talking about um, um, my kids, and I go, yeah, I've got two kids, and I'm divorced now, so I have my kids with me by myself all the time because we share custody. And it's hard. I have to have uh, like I had to t take a dump the other day, and I had to do. Can I say that they're not going to? Oh yeah. I had to do it with the door open because I got two kids to watch. Nobody else is home, so I, 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 uh, I can't unless I'm going to gather them into the bathroom to watch Daddy take a poop. I got to <laughs> have the door open while I'm watching the kids. Right. And she goes, same person basically, just keeps moving other cities <laughs> within the same morning somehow. Same genitals, same day. Show. <laughs> yeah. She goes. Really? Because your daughter's seven, I would think that she could take care of herself while you're doing that. Oh, my God. That's not the point, Oh, you my idiot. God. That's not the point. And I, 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 I was so, I was like, well, uh, yeah. And, and I went the other way with that one. I'm like, okay, that's how you want to do your show? Yeah. It's like, yeah, no, I guess that's true. I guess she could have. You're right. Just just clothesline uh, your your jokes. Uh, Why would the Jews go into the bar if they owned it? Wouldn't they have been there already, <laughs> going they, over the books and the they, deliveries? Yes. Yeah, the guy a guy who goes into a bar with a duck on his head, and the bartender says, "What do you want?" or something. And it's always the duck says something. <laughs> really, because I didn't think the ducks had the power of speech. Yes. <laughs> and why wouldn't the bartender comment on the duck as opposed yeah. to just speaking? Really, because right. usually when I go to a bar, they don't even talk to me. They just seem real busy. They're an easier way <laughs> to keep them from jumping on the bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wouldn't a duck fall off? <laughs> They are horrendous when it comes oh my to radio. God. They're like Andy Rooney with breasts. There's no, no but here's the thing them. is that I know m many, many funny women, and I don't think it's a female trait, no. but no man has or will ever do that <laughs> no. in the history of my life. You kind of know what's going on. and Because mm -hmm. and... only a hole would be that dumb. But <laughs> as a sex, it, I don't believe that it's a trait. On no, radio. I just make. There's an, uh, an improv, which is a boring art, but it's there's an art to it, which is it's called yes and. That's the rule of improv. It means that if somebody posits a idea, you don't say nah because you've just destroyed the whole show. <laughs> you say yes and you add something. You, right. you accept their premise and you add to it and you keep building that way. You don't just go no. I did improv once, and I just just because it, I was it made me look good and made them all look bad. I was the no guy, and I shut down every scene that started. They're like, "Oh, sir, sir, where's isn't this the restaurant where everybody's crazy?" I'm like, "No, it's a fine restaurant. There's nothing going on." Here. Oh, okay. I, Could you please tell me where the silly restaurant is? I never heard of any place like that. Yes. Why would anyone go to a place like uh, that? Would you want to eat something? Yeah. yeah and everybody just, ugh. Yeah, but I got huge laughs. I'll have the steak. Then. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Oh, is that that's great? Good. <laughs> Screw them. You think improv is a little bit? It is a little bit boring, isn't it? Most times. Yeah. A lot of times I've seen improv. It's very good. No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid holes. They just uh. wreck. Why are they such a staple? Oh, it really is. Now Anthony. But really, oh, even God. more than that noise, it's that thing of like questioning what is the value of that? What do you yeah. think? Are you is this like the sixty minutes of my bits? Yeah, is this yeah. like you're you're exposing my yeah. bits so that they won't work and we your show will be into boring? Louis C.K.'s bit and found he wasn't being completely accurate. <laughs> we visited this doctor that has done much work on 40-year-olds. It turns out he offered many solutions to Mr. C.K., which he did not bring up during the problem. comedic bit. I went in with a hidden Wait, camera and me. said Come I have on. a problem ankle. Stop it. He offered me a lot of solutions. No, no, it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, there it is. The you whole. know you're right. <laughs> oh, Anthony. Oh, you know you're going to go to hell for this. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, there, that's the one. I don't get it. Yeah. Oh, guys. God. Uh-huh. That's the best one. It's like, oh, guys, like, uh, stop the craziness now. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Now, guys, let's not make fun of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the number one rule. Uh -huh. Let's just not uh -huh. make fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. The devoid of humor, mm. and um, if there are people that are funny in the room, it's just over. Mm. And I don't know why program directors or shows think it's a good thing to have that. We were told so many times, you guys, I think maybe a girl in there, a woman, mm. her side, her point of... No. No. Why do we want that on this show? <laughs> if you stumbled upon a woman who is really funny and added things... Mm. Then maybe you put her on the show, but to have somebody for because that's the way they get put in is yeah. you're okay and you're here to be on the give the women a side yeah. of this show, which has to be contrary, mm -hmm. has to be yeah. just worthless and shut downy. Because the women will look at you like you're keeping them in charge. Yeah. The guys think they're in charge, but we all know oh, who's oh, oh, yeah. really in the charge. Gal, here. Huh? Gang, gang rape on the console. <laughs> show her who's boss. <laughs> we just like doing horrific things to women on our show. <laughs> Not having them as an equal to what no. we're trying to do every morning. What are we doing here? Yeah. All right. What else is going on, Lou? We were talking about movies um, earlier. Yeah. yeah. A lot of good, a lot of good movies as uh, as the Oscars are around right around the corner. We really? did, Jimmy and I separately saw Slumdog Millionaire last I night. I ain't seen that yet. Didn't see? No, it I saw good. the wrestler and I loved that. The wrestler is awesome. Yeah. That was the scene where he's with the guy with the staple guns and all that was like Amazing. that was like the. I mean, and they even mention it in the movie, The Passion of the Christ. It really was that yeah, horrif horrifically, but yeah. really good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, and Mickey uh, allowed them to abuse his body for that movie. That's obvious. I lo I saw an interview with him where he said he didn't want to do any of it. Like, he was, he had to, like, train for three months, and he's like, I hate wrestling, and I just thought it was stupid. He didn't like the <laughs> script. Really? Like, they told me I had to go. Darren wanted me to go away for three months to this camp, and, learn, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing this. But I love that he admits that now because it shows that he was de he was dead wrong. It was worth yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. the best thing he it. ever did in his whole life. Yeah. But uh, Better than Rumblefish, Lou? <laughs> <laughs> Comment. It's <laughs> the weirdest movie I ever saw, Rumblefish. I know. It's very strange. What's that? Sorry, was... <laughs> the sound of Anthony. No, I, I, I'm like. <laughs> I'm reading uh, Pal Talk People. All right. It's racist. We can take a break and continue here. <laughs> can I say some big... other things? Yes, uh, Jimmy. Big thanks to my friend Dan Coulter for sending me such a nice email about my handy appearance. It was very sweet. That's all. How? I don't like the friends you have. Are you friends with Dan Coulter? I am. Really? Like, how are you friends? You go out and you hang out together? No, we. um... We hung at the comedy cellar and uh, we emailed sometimes and uh, we interviewed her here and uh, you know, it's me. Yeah, it's Ann's girlfriend. Why basically. am I? But no, no, no. It's I the mean, female I, version I, of Anthony. She's not my type. I'll tell, tell you, you, you the, the truth. truth. I just like uh, I think my she's self. Old. Too old. <laughs> she's just not funny. She tries to be funny. She's not funny. I just I'm attracted to her. Yeah. Oh, you are. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, I am. Any chance? You no. <laughs> no. I'm attracted to her in the way that I'm just, I'll have sex with anybody in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Including a, a dead child that I found. <laughs> That's how I'm attracted to her. <laughs> you, um, you, you, you say you're not sure why that makes you feel. Well, Ant wants emails from Ant Coulter. Yeah, I'm not sure why I That's get so all. upset when. If Ant gets an like email from Ant Coulter, he'll be very happy. Important people know Jimmy. I'll tell you why. It's because you're awed by my humility. <laughs> it, it's sometimes oh, that's... when you realize, like, oh my God, I'm sitting next to this special person. I didn't know it, and he never acts special. Is that what it is? I yeah. don't know. That's just what my guess yeah. is. I agree. It could be nothing of the kind. I agree. It could just be that Ant thinks that I'm a no talent pile of feces and shouldn't get any accolades. Oh, Jimmy, I would never think that. You're on our show. You have been for years. Why would I think that you're not funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my mouth is my mouth is dry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to break. More with Louis C.K. As we go to break, we'll play a little clip from Hannity last night. Norton uh, did a great job for Sean. Opie and Anthony.
Why is that? Hold on, hold on. You, you work on Opie and Anthony's show yeah. on, on their radio program. Look, th there are people that did shut them down, want to shut them down. They want to go after Imus. They want to go after Rush. They want me dead. And it's like you can't tolerate an alternative viewpoint. Whatever happened to free speech so liberals? Liberals have become such whinging babies about anybody who calls them out <laughs> public. Obama has used tougher language on Rush than he has on Hamas. Who cares what Rush Limbaugh says or any other political pundit? They're just people. Well, I care opinions. what I say. I well, I'm a, you are the exception. Oh, yeah, no, because I'm here. I'm saying that. No, but Obama okay. should. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Louis C.K. in studio today. Uh, Caroline's tomorrow night. It's a benefit, but you don't have to worry about that. Who cares? Go there to laugh, yes. and it will help uh, Louis's kids' school. But there's, there's going to be no preaching, just uh, no. some fine comedy from Louis C.K. tomorrow night at Caroline's. 212-757-4100. What song is this? This is Rat. Uh, Day Tripper, yeah. It's round and round. Right? Yeah. 877 Day Day Ripper. Day Ripper. Oh. Yeah. Day Ripper. Yeah. Day Ripper. 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 Day we were going to try to talk about the Super Bowl, but I don't think Who cares? it doesn't have the buzz this year, really. It's probably going to be one of the lowest rated ever. It's going to be one of those things. No one cares. Everyone's broke. If they're more you know. yeah, worried about uh, their own jobs than a uh, yeah. stupid football game. It's, we're still having the Super Bowl. I think it's the sign we're, we're okay. We're okay. All right. yeah, there's a lot of fat we could trim that we haven't yet <laughs> yeah. like we're not doing that people are panicking but like it's emotional like, fat i mean like we're, we're still we still have huge mountains of stuff we could lose before we're even close to being like canada even <laughs> before we're anywhere near a normal country before we stop being the gilded city on the hill right i mean we have hot dog eating contests yeah and funny car races <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, We're until not. that stuff starts going away. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah. No. no, the Super Bowl with fireworks and some idiot's going to play in the <laughs> halftime. And, and we're going to make they're gonna, gonna love the commercial. Yeah, and, we're gonna, and all the girls are going to spell something out with their vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. fine. we got to start panicking when those things go away. Yeah, well, that's a lot between that and everybody having a you know donkey with pots clanging on the sides and yeah. a blanket. You notice the homeless out there, though, though? There are a lot. Well, you know, and their yeah. population's grown a little bit in the last couple of months. Yeah. They're quick. They're overnight homeless. I figured out who some of these guys are, seriously, because I was on uh, 14th Street, and I was actually high on marijuana pot, uh, which I never do. Were you really? Though? I was really high. Are I you went back on the dope? I never, never get high. I don't even drink. If I, get, if I go drinking, I'll have half a beer, and everybody makes fun of me, and then I hide it Ooh, somewhere. Crazy. I don't. I can't do yeah. any of that stuff. But I went to see my friend Doug Benson, a comedian mm -hmm, who just sure. is a giant joint. <laughs> and uh, He loves his pot, that guy. Yeah, so I, I went and hung out with him, and I got high, and I need to get away from people right away because I'm high, and I can't cope with people. And yeah. I just don't like the way my mouth and hands feel or look. <laughs> And I get upset. Yeah, <laughs> people are looking at my mouth and hands. So I go and I such a pot thing. Yeah, but so I go to the uh, the meat packing 14th Street. You know all the. Sure. I just want to look at people, but I don't because I also don't want to be alone because I'll wanna, kill myself. Don't interact though. Yeah, I don't want to interact yeah. exactly. You go to the meat packing district, then you don't like how your mouth and hands look. It's around the hog of a tranny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hear you. But it, that's now a big teeming nightclub scene. It's yeah. crazy now. Huge. So I'm watching people walking around and fights starting, and it's kind of interesting. And there's a homeless guy perched on a on a mailbox like a crow, literally like you know crouched. Really? And, yeah, and, and he says. Uh, uh, can I have some? And he asked me for money, and I looked at him because he didn't look that. He looked like a few, like fresh homeless. Looked a little too clean. Yeah, he didn't have that many layers on him. <laughs> <laughs> like he, you know, he hadn't slept on a uh, that many nights out or anything. And so I, I asked him uh, about his life and stuff. And he was Pakistani, and uh, he worked for the city as a janitor. And um, he said, as a matter of fact, he says, I I have a problem where I see snails on my hands and arms. 
and I need, oh, I, need no. to, I need to cut them, and then I start to scream, and uh, I can't really keep a job when I'm like that. <laughs> but I, he's, I've Let's got medication that keeps that from happening. Like he didn't say there are arms, there are snails in my arms. He says I see that. He sometimes. knows that. Uh, he knows it's not there. That would have freaked me but out. But he really believes it when he sees it. So he takes pills that stave it off. Um, anyway. You work at a French restaurant, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> it was like those were snails. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that was horrible. Um, so he uh, he the city cut all uh, prescription drug benefits. They just cut them because you know Bloomberg slashing. And, and here come the snails. And so here come the snails, yeah. and it takes him two days to get fired. Two days with the screaming and slashing his own arms, and he's yeah. gone. That'll do it. That's, yeah. that's it. So, uh, and but he was otherwise, and he had it like in his bag. He had a lot of these, you know, all his toiletries and clothes. Like he was trying to take care of himself. He just uh -huh. was had, you know. Anyway, and then I kept running into guy homeless guys who looked okay, and seemed the same kind of borderline. One guy stopped, and I had a Red Sox hat on, and he goes, Ah, Red Sox, and he knew everything about the trades and stuff. I'm like. This guy's watching television somewhere. You know when you yeah, like a homeless yeah. guy who's chatting with you about Lost? Yeah. And you're like, yeah. oh, this guy's he's going to be okay. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. But then as he's talking to me about the Red Sox, then he starts twitching and going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, fine, bitch. And then he ran away. And I'm like, oh, poor guy. He, that guy's like just, he's two pills away from being fine. Fine. But, but those pills cost like $1,000 yeah. each <laughs> because this is the cruelest country in the world. I'm... So those are overnight, like one day of prescription drugs going down in the city uh and then 50,000 homeless people with the exact same problem. I'm with you. I love talking wow. to homeless guys. I love it. Yeah, who's more they fascinating? Are, it's it's like watching a movie. Yep. You don't know what you what you're going to get. Their story you watch is their hands to... so they don't stab you anything. Yep. But, but besides that, their whole, their stories are definitely going to be more interesting than oh, yeah. the, 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 most of the idiots that you love oh, yeah. in life. <laughs> people that like I literally feel oh, love for. Oh yeah. I don't want to I don't want to hear it. Yeah. But that guy, oh, really? Snails in your hand? Then he's from Pakistan. <gasps> he also had a really interesting story because he came over here when he was 12 years old. Um, he was, this is, this is how a lot of immigration, this is how legal immigration works. His family is, Pakistani family owns of like 10 gas stations in Queens. And his like distant uncle, uh, uh, paid for him to come, like sponsored him to come to the United States, took care of all of his legal work, got him, you know, got him a green card. And to pay for that, he works in the gas station from 12 years old to like to ah, 18. Right, right. Lives in the basement Slave of the gas labor. station. Yeah. Like literally, lived in. I'm like, gas stations have basements. Yeah, wait a <laughs> I lived in the basement. It's just a bed and a lamp. And he just sleeps, pumps gas, sleeps, pump gas, slave wow. labor for like six it's years. Like maximum overdrive. <laughs> yeah. And then when he gets to 18, screw, go hit the streets. And uh, that's that's the life of a lot of these guys. Why such a Their slow animal family. on them? Why What's... couldn't he have had a faster animal? I mean, you can't get away from snails, you idiot. <laughs> you know, walk away from them. That was bugging me, the fact that it's snails. That story, that's the one thing that bothered me. It, it might have been snails. worms, I don't remember. You should have thrown warm butter on them. <laughs> like, what snails? They can't even really stay at It's kind of creepy. No. You're, just kinda push like, them. You're just pushing like them over. You. Yeah. Exactly. But it's not even leeches, slimy. You know? <laughs> well, well, you get that feeling in your body, I guess, without those pills. You just that's got to suck. You get mad at this. Yeah. You're right wow. on. Wow. Oh yeah, gross. I need a pill. Why, why, why don't they? Why don't they be homeless then, where there's health care, like well, Canada? Well, because they had health care for a minute. They had the pills here, and then they didn't. Like the second you get laid off, then and the you second you laid off, you, you look at your north. bottle. You look at your little yeah, amber yeah. bottle. And you go, yeah. that's how much time I got left before zero I, refills. Before I'm worthless. And then <laughs> run up to Canada. Yeah, and, <laughs> and get it there. That's got to suck if subconsciously you know, all right, I'm sane as long as there's exact, as long as I got the pills in this yeah. bottle. Here it is. Here's my sanity. And no, then, like, and what happens? You take that last pill, go, all right, oh, here well. they come. Here come uh, the snails. Snails. <laughs> that's got to I'd, I'd rather be crazy and not know it. That's exactly Because exactly there are people out there that are crazy, and they, they understand it. Well, because they're underwater. The guys who don't know it are guys who just never got diagnosed or never got. Right, this right. guy oh. took care of himself. Yeah. And then he just knows. He goes, Ima yeah, imagine that. Going like, I know they're not real, but I'm not going to know they're not real. <laughs> yeah, it's like flowers. In an hour. Yeah. My, my, <laughs> you know, it's one of those. Exactly. My dad uh, was Oof. one of these guys that had help everybody, and he took in a lot of people, and a lot of these people were exactly what you just mm -hmm. described. And they'd just be 
crazy crap happening in the house, and we'd have to call their family. Oh, I guess he's off his medication again. Yeah. Go in his room, find the whatever the medication was, it force it down, down his throat, throat and he'll oh, be okay. You're, you're trying to kill me with poison. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, it's like, why are we like dealing half, with this guy's problem? In half an hour, you'll be like, hey, what's up? Uh, he's like, hey, thanks for giving me that poison. Yeah, I feel well, better. I really needed that. But we would be, you know, in a pack. You're with the CIA. and you're. We had one of those. Really? We had one where uh, um, he was convinced we, we worked for the government and that we were following him. And he would go at it with my brother all the time. Like, I know you're with the FBI, CIA. You're following me. I don't want you following me anymore. My brother uh. loses it. Like, look, um, you know, I'm their son. This is my house. I grew up here. I'm, I'm doing some work around the house. I'm not following you. Yeah. So fast forward about a week. My brother's up in the attic, and he's doing some stuff. He, I forgot. He's doing some repair work, and he puts his foot through the ceiling. <laughs> So and one. he looks through the hole, and there's the guy looking up like, See, I told oh, you! Oh, no. no. <laughs> True story. Oh, no. I told you you're following me. I've always wanted to do that to those people. Like, when I worked at Conan, <laughs> I, I worked at 30 Rock, and there was my window looked out over this little plaza, mm -hmm. and uh, there was this crazy, wild, bearded man <laughs> who would stand there with a the Bible all day. Nice. He smelled like you could smell him from a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. And he'd go, God said, this is the day. You know, I'm here to tell everybody. And we started fantasizing about getting, like, painting a car certain colors or something and, like, pulling up and saying, you're right, get in, let's go. we got to get going. <laughs> <laughs> like, just totally fulfilling all come on, these come crazies. On. <laughs> Wear some like official him a badge and go. You're right. You, the president needs to see you right now. <laughs> uh, I knew it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. How would they react to that? <laughs> like a crazy person. Well, uh, well I got my stuff in a cart around the <laughs> yeah. corner though. Just throwing my cone in like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to tell the story. Hey, didn't you? You know, hmm. to, did you ever tell the Martin Sheen story? I love that one. Martin Sheen. Oh yeah. I, I he was on uh, Conan and we did a bit with him. And uh, I wrote a bit for Martin Sheen to do on the show, a Apocalypse Now throwback bit. Uh -huh. And uh, so the publicist actually said you can. He wants to hear the idea before he commits to it. Makes sense. So I called him on the set of Gettysburg or some movie he was making, and he was in character. He was talking to me as Robert E. Lee, Ugh. in <laughs> character. <laughs> but here's then I've had guys do that before. The thing is that he's talking to me as Robert E. Lee, the general. But he's discussing like what time his flight gets in, like you know, twentieth century stuff. Like what's the? I flew. Oh well, sir, I fly into LaGuardia, I believe. I'll have to leave my sweet I'll magnolia <laughs> as I catch a connecting flight. To catch a connecting flight through DFW and get a town call, sir. Atlanta's burning. Why I gotta get down there? <laughs> then take the space shuttle to. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but so then we get it. He's in the dressing room, and I'm trying to talk him into the bit because he said he was going to think about it. So I'm trying to talk him into the bit, and he's me and a, a two producers are talking to him. And then this little kid walks by at the door of his dressing room, and yeah. he goes, "That was one of God's little miracles that just walked by our door, gentlemen." Uh, and and I, oh. it's. He's being like the president or something. I don't know what the point oh, of that was. The West Wing kind of. Yeah, one. it was one of God's little miracles. Just walk by our door, gentlemen. Without any sarcasm. No. All right. And, and we're like sarcasm. That's funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really. Funny. And I'm still just trying to talk him into doing my bits. So I'm like, oh yeah, I know. It's, yeah, I love the children. Was well, the kid have a hanger on his head? Then maybe he's right. Hanger, hanger hooked lip, <laughs> like all jerked up. Uh, I have two children, and I still think that that was a lot of crap. Yeah. I still hate him for it. <laughs> yeah. That makes my head itch when I hear that story. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Miracle? It's it's terrible. Really? Yeah. Hey, what's the miracle? Both of your drug-taking miracles. <laughs> <laughs> I aimed, I hit it, she came out. <laughs> wow. Ever, ever did the bit? What? He did the bit. He, he actually nailed it. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Yeah. It was just a bit we did called uh, a two-way mirror in the dressing room. We pretend that we had two-way mirrors. Oh, okay. So we catch them doing weird things. And it was he was shaving and he cuts himself shaving and then he goes into the spiral, uh, you know, uh, apocalypse now Saigon dressing room thing. Yeah, where he just starts going bananas. Self against walls. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. John Grisham <laughs> is on uh, Good Morning America. We did a book called The Associate, 
And uh, I, I love it. What, what was that? That one he wrote about the young lawyer. <laughs> conflict. I'd like to. I'd like. I, I would. I'd like to spit warm tea in his face. <laughs> Shut up with lawyers. How about another concept? There's a young John. lawyer, and he's up against it. Something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he. He's well, because he was. Yeah. Case. Yeah, because to prove his father was. There was an, wasn't there a time yeah. where where Tom Cruise every movie he did was a guy who had to have something to prove because his dad was oh, of course because his dad a was every single like one the th yeah. the the car racing yep. the lawyer and Top the pilot yep. all three were a guy who a lot of talent but real self destructive because yeah. his dad was a real I flew, so I flew at your dad. Yeah. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell, tell you what really the real happened. Story. It's classified. Now let's go play homosexual volleyball with no shirts. A <laughs> few good Ow. men, too. <laughs> what? A few good men, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I said because he's a lawyer. He's an yeah. idiot. Oh, sorry, okay. stupid idiot. I didn't yeah. catch that's it. That's the one I meant. <laughs> I'm sorry. So no, I meant man. cocktail. Right. Where you oh. played a lawyer in cocktail, didn't you? His <laughs> father was the best bartender there was. Wow, all right. Right there is one <laughs> of the bottles like crazy. One of God's little flubs, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> oh, did, how did you react to that? Did you make a noise? No, yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. I just really wanted to do my little yeah, dumb little yeah, bit. Yeah, of course. Which I can't imagine. I can't fathom the motivation I had to do that job. Whew. Now wow. that I'm 41 and I do as little as possible. Amazing. Just waiting to die. Talk Martin Sheen into doing your bit. Mm -hmm. You got to not only write the friggin' bit and everything, but then sell it to the guy. Mm -hmm. That's oh, good. that's too much work. Yeah. Yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> and then you got to listen to dribble like God's little yeah. miracle. There were guys who I tried to like. Uh, what's his name? Rip T Torn is that his name? Uh, from no, there's a Rip Taylor and Rip, Rip Taylor. Taylor. I don't know which one's one he legit. Is. One's a queer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a con literally confetti throwing queer, yeah. literally, with no hyperbole. No, no other way to look at him. Right? It's literally on his business card. Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> Betting throwing queer. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you say that without the slightest malice. No. <laughs> he would answer to it without flinching. <laughs> uh, I think it's Rip Torn that was on the Larry Sanders show. Oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah, Rip yeah. Torn. Mm -hmm. He loves his drink. Yes, and he showed up to do a bit that we had, and he had te funny teeth. He wanted to put in funny teeth. He wanted to. Yeah, he said, I want to just put the funny teeth in and make funny noises. I'm like, well, we have a bit written. <laughs> yeah. And he was he was hammered. He smelled like booze. Oh, really? And I'm talking to him. I'm all 24 years old. I don't even understand what he is. <laughs> and um, I just know he's famous. I didn't even watch the show at the time. And I'm like, will you do this bit? And he goes, well, I want to put in the funny teeth. i got these funny teeth. I'm like, uh... Well, this bit we really prepared. It's probably going to be really good if you do that instead. Well, I think my teeth are funny. <laughs> oh no! I'm like, well, I'm not sure how the teeth. And he goes, they never give me this kind of trouble on the Larry Sanders show. I get to do what I want there. And I go, uh, yeah, go ahead, and put the teeth and do whatever you want. Go, ahead, just we'll cut to you and you do whatever you want with those teeth, buddy. <laughs> and uh, he and I thought I'm letting this guy just hang out to dry on his own because I don't care anymore. Right. And then he did it, and it killed, and it was really funny. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't even remember what it was. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, he did. Yeah. You gave him the rope to hang himself. Yeah. With. yeah, yeah. And he did. He and he lassoed a redheaded punk with him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was so hoping for a good ending there. Yeah, oh, some sorry. Punk oh, wow. Well. Yeah. I done that's happened yeah. before with Eve, the the R and B artist. I don't even have a sense of what she does exactly. Eve, mm -hmm. black yeah. woman with, who's famous. Yeah, right. I was working on the MTV Movie Awards, and I had to do patter with people. Like, I had to give people funny things to say off a teleprompter. <laughs> and the thing on awards shows, that those That's stupid scary. jokes yeah. are the best you can do. That's why they're like that. I've worked for those shows a few times. The reason those jokes are so bad is because that's the highest you can possibly reach. <laughs> There's always God, good man. comedy writers on the show that write really clever stuff. It doesn't function on those shows. And you, okay. and you can't do no jokes because it's just dead. Mm -hmm. But if you've ever presented an awards show, people are milling around. Nobody's listening to you. <laughs> Like, everyone's walking around and talking at other tables, and it's a mess. Yeah. Terrible. There's no focus. So all you can do is squint, and, and you should. And I used to tell these stars this, who were, like, a little lost. 
Look at the teleprompter more than you even have to. Make it clear that this is our bad joke and not oh, yours. Okay, yeah. Don't don't look like you mean it because you're don't gonna like you're gonna go it. down hard. You're gonna eat it. This yeah. is really gonna suck. Yeah. Squint. Yes. Put glasses on even if you don't wear glasses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but so <laughs> Vin, hand over your eyes. <laughs> yeah. yeah <I'm>, uh, <laughs> right. Like and you're looking do with your finger. Like, can you roll that back again? Yeah, yeah roll it back. <laughs> yeah. But Eve was presenting with uh, Vin Diesel. Well, that guy's oh, good. Wow, he, he's terrific. Vin Diesel uh, wanted to do a bit. He like showed up early to rehearse and said, "I want to make sure I, I don't like ever to look like a fool. I want to make this right. I know this is a comedy based. <laughs> Why show. did he make movies? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he use that stupid name? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he, uh, we wrote a bit for him where he's up with Eve and she says, uh, "Hey, Vin, is that your real voice?" And he goes, uh, "No, it's actually a fake voice." And she goes, really? Can I hear your real voice? And he goes, okay. And then he goes even way lower and says, this is my real voice. And I asked him, can you do that? And he did it, and he can go lower than he really is. It's uh -huh. crazy. So we're going to do it. It's kind of works. Sure. Yeah, it's kind of a funny yeah. bit. So he goes, he, they're coming from separate wings. Nobody, Eve didn't talk to anybody till the second it's about to happen. Oh, and she's looking at it with me. We're about to, ha and she goes, uh, I don't like, this is stupid. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> oh, no. Stupid. I'm not going to do this oh, stupid no. thing. And I go, but it's this, Vin is expecting this. He came to rehearsal. No, I'm not going to, I'm going to just go out there and say, how's everybody feeling? Are we feeling the love? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I don't care, okay? Cause <laughs> I like how Lou just gives uh, no, I don't care. people. Like, whatever. Go. Good. Go, go, and go look. Kill yourself. Yeah. So she went out there, and Vin, uh, she she said whatever she wanted, and he kept reading the cards. Oh, I, I really no. wish there was a tape of it somewhere. Oh, no. So it's <clears> two she, completely different things. Yeah, she on. goes, how's everybody feeling? And he goes, yes. Like, he answers. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his part. And she goes, does everyone feel in the love? And he goes, this is my real voice. <laughs> <laughs> and then they both look around like, what just happened? And then, oh. they go to, then they go to a package of, you know, the clips. Yeah. And they, <laughs> the awards for, you know, yeah. MTV wow. stuff. And he was uh, really upset. He, he uh, must have been. He was almost crying. That's how much he wanted that to go well. Really? Yeah. He, thought, he took it as a personal failure. <laughs> was he mad at her? No, he wasn't. He was too dumb to be mad at him. <laughs> He's too dumb to realize she's yeah, he the one thought he screwed it up. Screwed it up. Oh, no. Yeah. So oh. I, I hate her. I really hate her. Every time I see her, I, I hope she dies this, while I'm watching. This is stupid. This is stupid. <laughs> really? Maybe you're stupid and ugly. <laughs> wow. Good. Go on. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Right on. All right, listen. We got a oh, break. so funny. We're going to do a little mopping up next. We got Louis C.K. He's uh, doing Caroline's tomorrow night. Uh, uh, this is great. 212-757-4100 for tickets to see Louis C.K. tomorrow. All right? Nice. That's exactly right, sir. We'll finish up next. We got to get out of here. Got to move over to the other joint with Louis C.K. Who's playing Caroline's tomorrow night? It's so funny you're playing that tomorrow. I'm there February 5th through 8th. That's so oh. funny. It's such a weird coincidence because we're both comedians. Yeah, I know. It's a comedy club. club. Right. That's kind of what I was saying. Really? Because it just does. It seems counterintuitive that you'd want to... <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. That's stupid old crap. Most shows have them there, though. Yes. All right. Anything else before we uh, move on? I think we're good. Let me think. Uh, nothing I had planned. We no. did our job for the people out there. Well, now we uh, get They're to lucky you we know. showed up. That's right, Jimmy. That's how I feel on a daily basis. Hey, hey boy. Lucky we here. Enough out of you. Shut it. Well, guys, I mean, we didn't get to the uh, Obama and Congress were blasting the city because the jet got bought. Uh, well, the jet thing is pretty funny. Barack Hussein. Yeah. What happened? Um, well, the jet thing, because Ann had a good observation how, like, Citi had... Citibank, apparently, you know, part of the bailout. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They gave, the government gave them a lot of money, and uh, they decided to buy a, uh, well, how much was that? $50, $50 million dollar $50 jet. $50 million dollar <laughs> private jet for their executives. That's what they do with the money? Yeah, yeah. You well, know, what do get... people think these guys are doing? Yeah, I, well, I think they think they're doling it out door to door. Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, we uh, screw you out of some cash uh, here. Is it? So uh, they decided to get the $50 million um, private jet 
Uh, yeah, Scumbag. a French jet too. It wasn't. They didn't even. But buy see, American. it's not even embarrassing. It's just that's the way it is. Yeah. Like the you know, like they gave the seven hundred, well, the three hundred fifty billion so far to the banks, and yeah. they just said thanks, and they just kept it, and they're not doling out loans. No, they're, they're not, not helping. Fixing banks they're own jets. They own everything. They don't care. They're raping the country. They they have never cared. Yeah, they have all the like. There was that story once how an ATM machine got loaded wrong, so there were somebody put the hundreds in the tens drawer. Yeah, yeah. And so idiot moron Americans lined up around the block to get you know ten times their money out. Yeah. As if the bank isn't just gonna go and say, <laughs> well, we know how much you took, give it back, jag it Monopoly, this is banker in your favor. <laughs> 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 <Keep> that. Uh, <laughs> But that's and like the guys in the car companies that showed up in jets. That's what those people do. They're fat pigs. They don't care yeah. about other people. Why it wasn't they didn't care before. Why do you <laughs> think they and then they show up in cars like, oh great, yeah, that means the that they day. always just drove cars. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's that because fixes it. We never saw this, really. Yeah, we well that's because we're stupid. But we never really saw yeah. it. We're, we're seeing it now. And now we're seeing it. What's up with the corporate jet though? Obama's jumping on this thing? Yeah, I think he's uh basically you know, saying, Give the jet back. Saying, what are you doing? You know, if we gave you a bailout and yeah. stuff. It's like but it is, it's like your friend coming to you crying, going, I'm gonna lose my house, yeah. my kids are starving and stuff, I have no car, I gotta take you know, I need some money. I can... And then you give him some cash, and there he is, you know, in yeah, the brand gold, new gold caddy. Chain. Yeah. yeah. Or, or hey, loading, how you doing? loading up his car with his brand new golf clubs. It's like, where, where <laughs> are you going? Course. Like, what? Yeah. Heading for the airport, man. We're yeah. going to Disney. But that's what those people were just like, mon mon pure money for blood people. They're not. They really are disgusting. Well, but that's if you're going to attack it and say that they should take a car to the Capitol and all that kind of stuff, yeah. then you're a communist, mm. which, which is I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think we should be more socialist, but you got to be honest about it. If you're saying that those guys should be like pinching pennies to because their because their workers are suffering, oh, I laid off eight guys today. I guess I'd better uh, you know trade in my gold toilet seat for something else. <laughs> That's that's socialism. But if we but, give them money, I think that temporarily, at least, the the government has the right to go. All right, you know what? If you want this money, you're going to spend it this way, so we don't have to come and bail your ass out again. That's socialism. Um, but yeah, if, it's exactly if it's temporary, if it's temporary, I don't know. I don't think it, it, it is. Temporary socialism. Um, I, I don't think it is because they're asking you for something. Yeah, but you're replacing the Darwinist. And Rand uh, capitalism. I don't know what Darwin model. Is. You have to I gotta, that. I gotta means, go back though to Chrysler. You're, you're replacing that with the responsibility to the people by those who like wield the most power, which is corporations. They have to suddenly be responsible to the people and act mm -hmm. in a way that's that that takes everyone's needs mm -hmm. into consideration. That's socialism. So Instead of just saying feet. get whatever you can and and have. Have that jet be uh, incentive for their, you know, just grab and yeah. grab and grab. That's what this country's. But based they're on. back on their feet, then they can do what they want. Like in socialism, right? It doesn't work that way. Like if once you look, you, you get the money from the government, and once you you bailed out, now the economy's better. You do what you want again. Well, it's like uh, Hong Kong socialism. How they the Chinese maintain Hong Kong is this yeah. Moorish capitalism system. And they let it be there because they need the money. Now they're doing it in Shanghai also, and they're yeah. doing it in uh, well because every big city is communism it. doesn't work very well. No, but so they're blending it. They're blending co communism with uh, capitalism, which is what we're going and, the other direction. And, and they got a class system that's horrific. They got yeah. the extremely rich and the extremely poor. So just like welcome here, to here. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like it, so it it doesn't really work no uh, that way. Um, I, I wanted to bring up, like, Chrysler yeah. was bailed out years ago under Lee Iacocca. Right. What's the difference between then and now? They were bailed out. They actually wound up turning a profit and, and paying back the government with yeah. interest. Um, like, w why? When was the last time you bought a Chrysler? <laughs> uh, well, I know. I'm, I'm just saying, exactly. Or a Dodge. It's like, I'm just saying, like, why wasn't, why can't that car. model work today? Where you you lend them money, I don't know. And I don't they know pay you money. back with interest. I don't know a single thing about what I'm talking about. Successful. So I can't answer you. I know. I don't know that either. <laughs> I actually don't know the answer to that. Yes, Jimmy. Because the economy is so much worse now that the anticipation of getting uh, their their profits up in order to be able to pay back is, is definitely not I good. No, it was pretty bad back then. Just made that up. Was Price hoping it was. sounded right. <laughs> yeah, and also GM is down to what it literally what it was in the 40s. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's great. <laughs> 
It's fantastic, it's really isn't it? I don't know, I'm excited for it. The new General Motors car. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Tour of America. It's See music. the USA in your Chevrolet. Yeah. It's music marathon time, so yes. we got to get out of here. We're Butterfly going to... windows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going over to Sirius Stamp Satellite Radio. Uh, Louis is going to be joining us over there. Hydromatic transmission. <laughs> and if you're not going to join us, you uh, have yourselves a fine, fine day. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Is this us? Yeah, it's us. Fucking Louie. I could listen to you all day, Louie. Louie C.K. made the walk over to Sirius XM Satellite Radio as we continue with the program. Talking about uh, wear and tear injuries and uh, whatever. Maybe it's, it was just a good conversation <laughs> for four instead of a yeah. million. Sometimes we do that. Oh, let's do that again. And <laughs> it doesn't have the same feel. Nah. Everyone feels uncomfortable. It was just conversation. Yeah, it was just conversation. To sure. Yeah. Who's that Susan? Some fan has everybody signing something for Susan oh, on, yeah. a, on a piece of paper. Like, what is she going to do with that? Yeah, what is that? I can understand a picture or something. It looks a little yeah. nice. Scroll nice, it up and cram it in her cunt. Just a piece of paper with a lot of photographs <laughs> <laughs> on it. Nice. Uh, so when I was in, I was at Bonnaroo. Jim, you and I were in Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo. Right. And in Bonnaroo, there's always these hippie girls. Yeah, like, man. The, the, Ice, right? The attire, common attire, is a bikini top and cut-off shorts. Uh -huh. And they're just laying in the middle of the grass, like 19-year-old girls, just stoned and usually passed out, mm. with their legs spread open. Wow. And their bush showing through their shorts. How about that? And but I'm I'm a father, and I look at that, and I'm like. Fucking irresponsible cunt! What are you doing? Like I, <laughs> this country is in got two wars in an economy. You know, <sighs> splash some water on your face. Go back to school. But I, every time I saw a girl like that, I wanted to like write a little note that says, like, like roll up a note and put it in her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls it out and it says, "This could have been a penis, you idiot." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I could have raped you. You wouldn't have woken up, you moron. <laughs> you love being a father, but does it bother you to have daughters? Uh, not in the same way it does most guys. I mean, I I, wa I feel a more heavy responsibility to uh, raise them well. Mm. Right, you want to make sure you really do a good job. Yeah. Well, the I, running I, gag is always, you know, that's why she's got the daddy issues. That's why she's up on the pole. You yeah. Know, that's... Well, I don't look at it that way. Like, to me, that's what every guy... A lot of fathers think that failure means that she ever touched a penis. Yeah. And she's a whore and, you, you know, so they run... You know, any child or person in the world is going to run to sex. It's it's just an instinct. It's how you yeah. survive. So if you get between a, a child and sex, they're going to find an end run around you through wall, through shame and disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> Your the the quickest line from from a person to sex is you know a happiness and pride and joy and. Mm -hmm. and you know, and if you get into between that, you're gonna they make them take that end run. Your go, go through shame and disgust and self hate and Jimmy getting shit on. Your success as a stripper is my failure as a father. <laughs> your success, <laughs> even though it's bringing in a nice coin right now, <laughs> even though it's paying for my retirement. Yes. <laughs> do you, do you but so I don't look at. I don't have this thing of like uh, you know. I mean, a lot of fathers have that thing of like I don't want her ever. You know, I I knew a guy who didn't buy. He bought his daughter a BMW because he didn't. Want her, he wanted her to have a nicer car than the guys in her school. Mm. So, oh, I, I see what he's going for. Yeah, because he just yeah. never went on because he's got the I'm not getting a piece of shit. But now, <laughs> but now, the dude exactly. is, now the dude is driving the nice, <laughs> the nice car. Yeah, yeah I'm he's, driving, <laughs> he's driving her nice car That's while right, she's yeah. blown him. Yeah. Yeah. You can right. suck my dude. Yeah, exactly. You just made it even easier oh, for the God. guy. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, but the way I look at it is if you... No, I mean, and also, you're... You're 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 doing the opposite. You're making the girl have a high threshold of what she needs. She's mm -hmm. gonna need a guy with a BMW. What? If Fine you line. raise a girl with some confidence and some, you know, and you give her some bedrock, you know, uh, you send her out of the world like she, feeling like she can do whatever she wants and give she's her some. She's still gonna get her face and ass fucked. She's, yes, she is. <laughs> she is, Jimmy. She's going to, but she's gonna do it on her terms. She's going to grab that dick by the base and go, "I want to suck this right now." That should be your goal as a father. What? No. That your daughter only sucks a dick that she <laughs> thinks is delicious. She sees the smelly, shriveled dick of a rich guy like you and says, "I, I could take it or leave it. I got, I got." 
got my own. Um, I've set myself up. Yeah. I've got, I know I can get myself a job and take care of myself. <laughs> I'm only gonna viciously suck dicks that I want to. What's your? I'm only gonna let guys who, I, who are quality guys uh, fuck me hard in the ass <laughs> while pulling my hair and choking. What's me. your worst fear having daughters though, as they get older? Yo, man, I'm uh, a fan of your shit. Your daughter's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, my biggest fear, uh, just that there's like, you know, nuclear apocalypse and they're just on a, oh, so on that's a, a, on a pile right. of debris. Ah, uh, just yeah, right. no, no, lost I, in the sauce. I get, just, I, no, I have horrible fears. As a father, horrible. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the horrific of... stuff. I'm just saying. Well, those like... are the ones you have. I mean, yeah, those are the ones you have. Is there's horrible things that can happen to him in this world. I can't believe. Then so you better not see the movie Taken. <laughs> yeah, you know, I would never. Yes. That kind of shit is just so <laughs> manipulative to me. It's like oh, really it's so easy. To, it's easy button to push with yeah. a parent. But I, to me, if the it, it, it is, uh, if you know, the idea that my kids are going to go to school by themselves even that i'm going to open the door and say see you later have a good walk to school i that's me that's I, it's unconscionable unconscionable i don't see huh. that day i don't I, I can't live it in my head wow that's fucked up a day that they leave without and i did it every day from second grade i used to w walk to school yeah. alone walk to school alone just like hey i'm going out you hop on your bicycle yeah. and just fucking tear out somewhere and, yeah. and you wouldn't even come home for hours and then you come home and your mom's just like oh yeah I'm back yeah. You, you like, weren't even door. thinking about where you were or anything? No, but no. I think you're lucky because nowadays everyone has a cell phone. Like, you know, when we grew up, you just were out that front door on your own for, until you came back. Now you can at least, you know, check on them a I little bit. I guess so. I don't know. Maybe they don't want that, though. So you got to figure out how that's that's kind of cool without yeah, being overbearing, I guess. Yeah, and I think, I don't know, I think the whole cell phone thing of people being always accessible, it's all just very weird. Mm. I don't know how mm. to be a parent in that environment. Mm. I, don't, I don't know how to be one without it. I wasn't a parent in the 70s. Sure, no. Sure. But, but I was you a, were kid a kid in the 70s, so I had yeah. the relationship that way. A lot of freedom. I don't know uh, how this shit's going to work. Uh, I am, I am scared of it. Tim from Columbus, what's uh, Lou, Louis' biggest fear as his daughters grow older? One word. Anthony. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, Jesus. if my daughters grow up, and again, they have they have a whole life that they can sustain on their own, mm -hmm. and they meet a guy like Anthony, and they find ah, it, see? it might be fun to roll in the hay with that pig. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that, I hope they get what they want out of this situation. Wow. <laughs> nice. His rich, skinny fingers. Yeah. <laughs> His little bizarre mustache up against their cooch. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Leaving the house alone, though. Wow. That's, yeah, that's, that's what scares me. But then I don't <laughs> think about them in the other term. They're going to be grown. They're going to be adults. It's no longer going to be any of my business what they do with that. Right, right. Wow. But until it's then, not there. it's got to be just a nightmare. The only thing that I think about, yeah, is just them. I, yeah, I worry about that, and uh, I think about it sometimes uh, irrationally. You can't help it. Uh, I mean, about them getting hurt or something. Too uh, much fucking turmoil. It's a dangerous too much world. Worry. Too much fucking this. I don't even know how or why you have kids. I don't know. I'm not you personally. I'm talking to everybody in the world, plus no, you. It's, a lot of it's like, why the fuck, you know? No, just I, but, and then your whole life is like, ah, oh, now I got to worry. About, I'd rather just worry about me and, and make sure I fucking make it through life. It's a lot easier just to worry about <laughs> you yourself. Know? Now that, yeah. now that uh, you know, well, you I, know I'm, what? Now that I'm married, it's like, holy shit, I got to, like, this is weird. I, I actually want really fish. have to worry about someone now. Yeah. Not the fake worry, like, oh, that sucks, but then you move on with your life. It's like, wow, I really have more worry in my well, life. Well, and in a way, though, it's And like, then you had kids to that. That's, ugh, that's crazy. Wow. Well, when, you're, when you have kids, too, that kind of does a give and take, though, because I don't worry about myself anymore. Oh, really? Oh, no. really? I don't care about what happens to me. It's not important. Only in terms of them. Like, every time I have uh, thoughts of suicide, don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> but every time, <laughs> like, happens sure. everybody. Mm. I go, oh, I'd like to just fucking <laughs> cash out right now. I don't need this anymore. The, my first thought is I can't do it. I got the kids. I can't do it. So I don't think in terms of my own happiness anymore. I just think mm -hmm. about their... Like, there's some parents, and I think it is actually good that my only worry is the ghoulish fears of, like, the random things that could happen. Yeah. Because I don't, some parents are like, like, they answer that question, what's your biggest fear? That they'll forget who I am and not love me when <laughs> oh, I'm, fuck God. you, you know? <laughs> fuck you. A yes. shit. Most parents are very narcissistic about their, that they'll know that I love them. And, oh, please. Like in The Wrestler, which I really loved, but the, the, when he says to his daughter, I just don't want you to hate me. Fuck you, she's a, let her hate you. 
Mm-hmm. If that's going to make her healthy, who gives a shit? Right. It's not about you. Stop with the guilt. Yeah, you fucked somebody and had a child. Right. Now your responsibility has shifted to them. Yeah. You don't longer have right to be selfish. Oh, wow. That was a good movie. Did you see The Wrestler? Yeah. Yeah, I like it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Speaking of movies, we got Polo out there. Oh, that's right. He's, a movie. He's a Ron wow. Fez guy, though. He is a Ron and Fez guy. Are we um, acknowledging that it's a Ron and Fez guy? Yeah, 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 obviously. How'd this come about? It's right, Well, because he has a, a, a motion picture. But wouldn't he uh, just go on Ron and Fez and promote his motion I picture? I believe he is uh, doing that, too. But, I see, I went on to Ron and Fez. Yeah. And I started talking about um, Paulo and his, his uh, film. Yeah. Um, and I had, you know, uh, I guess a review. Yeah. Of it? Did you see the film? Uh, m- some of it. Okay. I've not seen it. All right. I saw some of it. Okay. I heard you. Um, and um, you did. Yeah, I heard it. All actually right. Really good. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it got to the point where you know we had seen it. Uh, um, Sam has seen it, I believe. Some of it. Sam, you uh, like Sam? You saw it. Let's see uh, what Sam thinks of this movie. Uh, Louis a filmmaker. He, he could appreciate yes. a good film. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sam? I was able to see the whole film last night. It was terrifying. It's a <laughs> horror movie. Oh, terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, gotcha. Terrifying. Fying. Gotcha, yes. It was long at parts, <laughs> but... Long in parts, huh? This yeah. Way, one part would be longer than another part. It was the first hour was a lot longer than the second ten minutes. <laughs> I um I assumed that it was going to be one of those so bad that it's good movies, especially since most of the cast uh, I know. Oh really? You've seen them walking around these very hallways and um, that you must know, must be amazing. You then. just know them, <laughs> not as actors, but as just interns and people <laughs> and fucking friends of the show and. Fat little English people that sell fucking T-shirts with tiny heads, <laughs> little heads, and no brains. Stalkers, uh, yeah, stalkers. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I figured, yeah, at least I, I, I'm in on that. It'll kind of be funny. That's it right. didn't catch me like that. He's yeah. right there, listen. Yeah, I, I <laughs> didn't right get there. it. I didn't get the point. Oh boy, you may want to. I, I didn't. Um, I thought it was horrible. Well, should we, uh, dude? I, want, I, I don't know. Can we ask him questions? Paulo, uh, sure. Yeah, come Paul's on in, Paul. In. This is Paulo. Come on in there, Paulo. The uh, uh, the writer, writer director, director, star of the Orson Welles of Gap. Yes, the Gap <laughs> of Gap. The movie's Gap. called Gap. Wait, well, I want to start by saying Paulo. Now it's been obviously many I years. They, re- they replaced the G. With a CR, and you might have a, <laughs> a movie. That, Paul, yeah, Paul, spelling joke. Yeah, we like. Yeah, yeah. it's been yeah, many years. Gap, interesting arc. Oh just, crap! Just to bring everyone up to speed, the last time you were on our show, what was it? Was it the Sandy well, Kane what, kissing of the? What uh, hap- yeah, Swato. what happened is over the years we've had encounters with the Sucky Bed event, and then of course the Enema Show and right, the, the Swato Show, various things over the year. But I've always respected the uh, fourth wall. The imaginary fourth wall between Ron and Fez and Opie and Anthony. I, I just figured there was one. I don't know if there is one or not. That's there, uh, that's there, a, there, that's there, a good use the of fourth. Between <laughs> shall never meet. No, I, 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 don't think, I think it's a terrible use of fourth wall. Well, yes. it's maybe the mind thing that I'm. No, thinking. that doesn't. Happen. <laughs> is that like you mean fourth wall is where you're watching the thing and you imagine there's three walls to the right, uh, yeah the to the show and that the fourth wall is the audience is torn down. So some correct. sort of a uh, you know some sort of a barrier between Ron and Fez of this show. That would not be any kind of a fourth wall. No. no. That would be one wall. It would be a fourth estate. <laughs> well, unless thing, they perhaps. were the audience. No. If Ron and Fez were the audience, right. would, the fourth wall would be Ron it and Fez. It could be the fourth wall. In, in yeah. any case, I've been You with, saw a separate kind of thing. I so. thought I should in, uh, uh, honor something. I don't well, know what I Well, you know what it was? It. That's what... Well, we, would, we wouldn't have you on to do... You're, you know, let's have Paulo do movie reviews or things like that because that's your Ron and Fez guy. Right. But since you put out, yeah, and there's a fourth a wall film, between the two shows, and there's a fourth <laughs> wall, and there's yes. no door. That's yeah. what I. So thought. you got to go through the duct door. Oh, Maybe God. it's just a bay window or something. That's what I'm thinking. So, but in any yeah. case, I was doing Ron and Fez since mm-hmm. the '90s. Yeah, as keep a, trotting ahead with this. It's as fine. a movie <laughs> reviewer. Yeah. And yes, so yes. people expect me to know movies in and out, and then mm. they have an expectation that this should be like Citizen Kane, Gap. Well, Why? no. Why would they expect that? Because oh. you're a movie reviewer. <laughs> I, Why would anyone expect a movie reviewer to make anything that 
is like Citizen Kane. Well, I think they would expect that I would have a full knowledge of movies and a full understanding sure of what a movie should be. Not oh, really. no. Oh. Well, how long no. did it take you to make no. the movie? Okay, first of all, this was an experimental movie, and it took three days to make. Experimental <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> three days. <laughs> Louis a filmmaker. Three yeah. days? Yeah. What do you think of a movie that only took three days? a tenth of and the how... amount of time it usually takes. Yeah. Yeah. And how yeah. long is the movie? It's an hour and 23 minutes. So, so it's, it's not like it's like a, a one short, one like a five-minute short no, that you throw together. We cut it down for three hours. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, so three hours. It. Shot an hour a day and then edited it out half of it. <laughs> they edited it out Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is there a director's cut? You know, ever be there, available? Well, here's the problem. There's actually oh. before we start promoting this movie, I have to honor the Ron and Fez, Opie and Anthony community. So because essentially this movie should only be released with no knowledge of what this is. So we put out right. the Director's Cut Collector's Edition well, don't worry. Now. If you see it, you won't know what it is either. And then we're going to put out the basic edition. Do you want to market thing. this to the movie theaters? No. I don't think we can because I have no money, but... You know, is I, this good? is just some. He burns you a copy <laughs> on his map, yeah, yeah. and he writes you, hit the name of it in Sharpie on the actual yeah. disc. All right, first thing I'd like sleeve. to say is please go to GapTheMovie.com because my life is completely fucked up. <laughs> it's hard. Well, we know fucked, so we need you to buy. No, this I movie. heard you on Ron and Fez recently. It sounds like you're getting your life together. You got a new girl. Is the oh, new girl thing over already? No, that's actually the one good thing in my life. My because life, you married. I think I was at one of your weddings. And you married somebody who left you to go to England to be with somebody right. else, right? A lovely girl, Melly. Yeah, Melly, uh, right, sure. But she was obsessed with this guy who was in prison for years. <laughs> so why would you marry someone like that? Because I, I thought we worked through it. <laughs> I mean, it only takes three days to shoot a movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and you can always sort of figure not. out her fall out. Well, she, got out How long prison. did it take for her? Oh, we got out. And then he says, I need you. I'm drinking myself to death. So I bought her a ticket over there. She was going to help him out. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, you bought her a ticket? You didn't think she'd fuck him or anything, right? Anybody kinda, whose name we is Melly. We kind of talked that through. We worked it out. I thought we worked it out. What did she, she say? Fuck it. She said, no, no way. I'm going to help him. That has to be the worst name I ever heard, Melly. 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 It's, Melly. It's, it's just even if you're trying to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. You go, hey, who's on the phone? It's Smelly. <laughs> She's like, it's like, so going to be Smelly. Sh it's Smelly. smelly. So, even if you're not trying to call her Smelly. Actually. So she, you, she wasn't going to fuck him. She was definitely fucking you, though. <laughs> and was, and, and, oh, and that's Wait, Paul, even, hold on. How long did you, is an open-ended ticket, or how long are you sending her for? To I help the guy. Two weeks. Uh, Two weeks. Nothing so she didn't need to Two return weeks. ticket, apparently. So, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> so he, was, she someone, was he someone she had fucked before? No, they had this thing. Oh, oh God, it's so freaking complicated. I can't even go oh. into it. It's platonic. No, you, you, sure. was this, yeah. you know, platonic, it, was a, huh? it was extremely obsessive love, oh. and there was a lot of spooning why, why did, involved. Hold on. Why did, spooning? Why did she get obsessed with the prison guy to begin with? Did she know him ahead of time? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was oh, a okay. filmmaker in England. and uh, a filmmaker. <laughs> A filmmaker. What kind of films? Filmmaker. Oh, Snow films. What, yeah. what? No, I, and uh, they, he actually worked with kids. Um, uh oh, oh. <laughs> filmmaker. I know why he was working with <laughs> August Productions. No, oh, Uncle Paul. <laughs> well, that's and, uh, and whatever happened to put him in prison, I believe it was completely innocent. And in all honesty, pictures. Oh no. <laughs> what do they say? Innocent. Yeah. What do they say? It was an offense of that nature. Of, of pe pedo shit? No, but it a was child not. There was no physical contact at any point. He jerked off in front of them, no, right? No, no. He was helping. He shit their you're... mouths while they jacked no. himself. Yeah, what was the Wait, charge? He spent time the in prison. It's similar to fraternizing. He made cummy on a, on, a, on a cracker and the baby. It would be it. similar to fraternizing. <laughs> he was helping. He was helping to film He was helping a person children. who was abused. Uh, who were inappropriately being filmed. He was holding the boom he was the boom trying, while And he was meeting them at restaurants trying to counsel them. There what? was no... The boom was a cock. <laughs> yes. wait, wait, I swear wait. to God. Like, wait, wait, wait. I'm not trying he, to... He would meet them at restaurants. Hold on. What? He would meet them at restaurants Chuck to counsel cheese. because they were being abused at home. Sure. And that's against the rules when you are working with kids, and yeah. so that's what he went to jail for. Uh, so how long did he go to jail for? Mm -hmm. So he's like obvi eight months. Because he was fucking uh, them. He's things. obviously a kid toucher. Why yeah. can't you admit that? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, they, they got him on something. So the kid goes, I want to... My dad's touching me. I don't know how to how to get through this. And he goes, why don't you meet me at the Olive Garden? Right. Yeah. And... Let's talk about it there. Won't that be easier? Yeah. yeah. There's a table case. you can jack me off under. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to Captain. What is oh, no, 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 no. What, what's wrong with you that you would allow your wife to go to England to be with this dude? Far I'm more too nice. I'm too fucking nice. I'm a fucking idiot. What do you want? 
Wait, That's your sick. wife wanted to go chit chat with a pedophile she had spooned with, and you bought her a plane ticket. Yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. And you wonder. Mm. Yeah, she's in the movie anyway. My ex-wife is in the movie. That's one of Dawn's uh, <laughs> uh, also one of Dawn's failure marriages. Oh, Grace. We had a great relationship, yeah. but there was always no. This my Dawn. my sister uh, uh, actually Paulo. did the the ceremony. Oh, she, Paulo and Melly. Oh wow. She is. Do you um, miss Melly? I, I do. I love her, and I, I, I love this person Smelly. I'm with. So I'm very Smelly. happy with it's that. Smelly. Would you take Smelly back? Smelly. This is the point. I have moved on, uh, and I do know she's fucked up. So oh, Melly? No, yeah, Melly. So there's no point. I have a much better person now, a much... For now. A widow I mean, woman. You're going to mess that up. You know, yeah. who's, who's perfect. <laughs> what happened to you? for you. Did you kill your wife, or... How oh, did that Jesus down? Christ. Well, Jesus I, I Christ. Christ. <laughs> little, uh, now, Gail, we know the... the I, I want to know some answers the, today. The late Gail O... Was, uh, she's in the movie yes. as well. Yes, she is in the movie. It was a little oh, that, that was a little distressing. Too? Yeah. Did you drive her to well, kill herself? She had a lot of <laughs> mental problems. <laughs> what? what? I'm, I'm crazy. Uh, she had a lot of mental problems. <laughs> she was on a lot of medication. Why? Did she kill herself? Really? And uh, Arana Fez would have her on the air every so often, and she mm. just would be manic. Yeah. yeah. Manic. She would screaming be screaming and yelling. Some and days stuff. she would be okay. Other days oh, she's yeah. screaming and yelling, and and uh, Paulo's in the background, just you know. Uh, yeah, taking I'm all kinds of abuse reviews. and do, doing movie reviews, mm. and and then to see her in the movie was a little distressing. Uh, what and it had nothing to. It was like the <laughs> Bella Lugosi scene <laughs> in fucking uh, in Plan Nine from Outer Space. Did she die when during the in front of the house and just kind of <laughs> right? You know, Did there's she no die reason. During the filming, uh, Gail, the three-day filming. <laughs> I was with her. For th she came, <laughs> and as a matter of fact, we segregated her in another hotel when we were doing the. All film. right, but you're fast forward, and I need answers. So no, this was how much did she, later. How did she kill later. herself? I've known this guy for four minutes. I want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm but gonna Paul, guess he had something to do with it. But Paulo, how did she kill herself? I don't she know. She had had an accident uh, where she leaped off a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> leaped. That's not an accident. Not fall. You leaped. Leaped. There's no. No accident involved if you're leaping. Well, I had put the drugs on the top rung uh, of no, some. I was kidding. I'm not, oh, I swear no, to no, God. This guy is, I swear no, 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 no. There's, There's no God. kidding oh, here. I didn't ask for these. I swear to God, she. Oh, as long as you got them. I was. I might have one. one of donuts, really. oh, oh, donuts are pretty good, right? Donuts. Cool. That's weird. I never would have asked. For Thanks, these. Ken. So weird. As long as I don't want to be rude. Those donuts, donuts look so great. What are you doing? I want a donut so big. He's, <laughs> Dude, he's got a rod. <laughs> donuts and sushi is a great combination. Oh God, it's not low. That's wonderful. No, wow. it's not. <laughs> it isn't, though, is it? Because they have very contrasting tastes. You know oh, you hole. <laughs> All right, listen, listen. This story is too good, yeah, so let's yeah, focus right. back here. So, right. Just so one one. one Yellow side. died. Yeah, yeah. So so you put her drugs, that, right. her medication, or these were illegals? All, no, they're all legal. Well, they're all legal because they all came Nobody from pharmacies. Knows. But she was right. over-medicating no. herself? Oh, yeah. All right, so, Andrew, Andrew, so you put the drugs up on the top rung of a ladder? And no, where was top, this ladder? Let's say about... Oh, she used the ladder. Yeah, she used the ladder. All right, and where were the drugs? I'm sorry. They're way on top of a uh, like a, a bookshelf that may be nine feet high. What How kind of drugs were those? You have nine <laughs> foot tall. bookcases? Yeah, this is tall. Fucking bookcases are there. <laughs> I was a double stacker. How did she know they were there? Because you told her? Or she was searching until she no, found them? No, she's searching. She's, yeah. she's crazed. And she needs the drugs. Yeah. And I decided at that point she needs she doesn't need the drugs. You know, she needs uh -huh. to stop. Mm -hmm. So she gets up on the ladder, and I find her. I went to the store. I came back. I find her on the floor. She uh -oh. broke her shoulder. So she has to go to the hospital and everything else. Then, uh, later, the she screws. She died of a broken shoulder? No. <laughs> Give me a chance. Yeah, she broke it with a train. <laughs> right, right. She thought the screw would have. There was a screw in the shoulder um, that was starting to poke out. Oh, oh boy. So it needed to be redone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. You just bend it over with a hammer. <laughs> That's what I told her. I used bend to bend it over the tip. So when she re went in uh, the day she came out of the hospital, you know, for the one day surgery for that, uh, late they gave her more drugs, and then so it was oh, uh, boy. all extra drugs that night. Yeah. And then so she had too much, too much drug. It was a drug overdose. It was a drug overdose. Yeah. She <laughs> Jesus. And, and I'll be entirely honest with you. Is that um, uh, what happened? Yeah. Her crazy life. I mean, yeah. I spent thirty years with this woman. Crazy, uh, especially the last few years, because she had all yeah. these medications. 
the best. She really got to a point of being close to God, and then boring. The, <laughs> a, lot, a lot closer after the OD. <laughs> yeah. All right. And anyway, she's but, in GapTheMovie.com. So, but, but, so uh, who wants to see a dead girl in your movie? It, 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 that was a little creepy. Uh, like creepy. Yeah. Right. I just had talking. integrity after it. And, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and the thing is, her part made no sense. Not that I'm saying that most of the movie made sense. I'm just saying that that part especially. And Dave screaming, too. Dave from the Ron Fest show screaming. I didn't understand what that was all about. All right, let me let me just very briefly explain the movie. Number okay, one, good. it is meant to go for the horror audience, which is, of course, this crazy fucked up shit. The more crazy fucked up it is, the right, better. Right, right. So for, like a slasher movie kind right. of thing? It is also intended for the art house audience, which also mm. is into crazy fucked up. You know, if you're going to talk mm. John Luc Godard. Art house shit house. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, art house, okay. So it's kind of a message movie as well. So mm. all the See, scenes, that's what I was missing, was the message. Yeah. Yes. And it, the yeah. message is this movie is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so is. it is what it is. It is a specific thing that was done as an experiment. And and it is about a video a diary of a madman. And of course, part of the problem is a lot of people seem to think I'm a little bit of a fucking lunatic as well. And I well, don't think so. well, I'll go. Come on. They <laughs> do certainly, uh, yeah, say that. So I've been I've been listening to the the gap. Uh, Explanation for how many years and a half, something, yeah, like, something that. like that. I still have no effing idea what this movie's about. <laughs> Saw it, and or you... most of it anyway, <laughs> yeah. and I have no idea what it's about. It, it, all I see in scene after scene is Paulo <laughs> with some type of a knife, mm -hmm. uh, some victim mm -hmm. poorly tied up in the background. <laughs> yes, very loose. You very <laughs> loosely tied <laughs> up in the background. <laughs> three days. Trying not to laugh. <laughs> uh, as they're squirming and uh, not really trying or the fear isn't really getting there. And then a bloodless murder scene uh, for a horror movie. Well, uh, Anthony, maybe he didn't tie them up tightly because the fear, the intimidation of who he was. Yeah. Was keeping them there, and that's part of the mystery. Or maybe, he, or maybe he didn't tie them tightly because it made them uncomfortable. They, they weren't actors, <laughs> yeah. they were just friends of his. Well, <laughs> well the fear, fear and intimidation would have been a good thing to keep the viewer there <laughs> because it didn't work for me. All right, first of all, to defend the movie, yes. I honestly believe that, you know, there has been an, it's, it's a specific type of movie that you haven't seen before, and it kind of taps into that audience, hopefully, down the road once I finish marketing to my core audience, which is, of course, Rod Fez, Opie, and Anthony. I want it to nah, be nah, four nah, people. Nah. You don't have to put Opie and Anthony in there. Okay, no problem. Rod Fez and yeah, pedophile. Yeah. Like, uh, that's your audience. Pedophile, fucking <laughs> wife stealers. You know, the Blair, right. Witch right. you know, the Blair Witch Project is obviously a lot of shaky candle things. Oh, All right, no. okay, okay. So you kind of were going for some kind of a, this is not professional... Exactly. Uh, professionally shot. It's supposed to be some lunatic mm -hmm. uh, uh, setting up a tripod with a camera before he kills people. Right. Why, exactly. don't you, why don't you just cut your losses and just not promote this movie and make another one? Oh, well, first of all, <laughs> you know, right. here's, here's the problem. This might be good. Here's the problem. As you, as apparently people know my life, you know, a lot of problems. Well, Paul's life's a movie. <laughs> yeah. So I have $145,000 in debt, and then I have two houses oh. I can't unload. So I'm I'm not able to make another movie uh, until I... And besides, I have... How a, much did get cost? Oh, not a lot. How much? <laughs> How much? Uh, uh, technically, $10,000. What? How? Why so much? Well, because yeah, I had to go to New York, and we had to get people together and, and get hotels and stuff, because, you know, I had to get, sort of gather people. So your logistics cost more than the actual taping. Yeah, exactly. taping. And the editing was a little bit... But the the I, editing was a little bit... What, you, you actually had an editor? Yeah, I actually had an editor. Cause Who I, was uh, the editor you hired? The governor of New York? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing goes uh, on forever. It's, I, uh, <laughs> I cut it down for three it, hours. From three <laughs> hours. The scene... With no filter, Paul. Yes, who's a genius? He genius does great work. Genius. Well, see, you're using that word again. <laughs> I want to see that. He that scene goes on and on and on to the. It's maddening, <laughs> and I don't mean in a good way. It's not like I was. I was saying I don't mean like watching this and going, "Holy shit, this is great." I was like, "Holy shit." They're still fucking doing this. I left. Usually when I, I'm watching a movie I haven't seen before, and I have to go take a piss, grab a beer, whatever, I pause it. Sure. I didn't pause this. <laughs> I just went. I took a piss. I grabbed a beer. I washed my car. Whatever. I come back. 
Fucking no filter Paul is still in the chair, loosely tied, with no shirt on. Yeah. Everybody's in their underwear, that's true. Yeah, everyone's in Why? their underwear. And there's some nudity as well, because, you know, they say the foreign markets, you need the nudity. So it's foreign <laughs> markets? <laughs> what are you looking for, foreign no. jersey? No. Over We're here, talking. we like clothes. It's Japanese. I need <laughs> Japanese. Gap the, the Japanese. The Japs, please. GapTheMovie.com. Get on there. I actually have right. a... Well, just change the G to a J, then. Ron Don't think Fantas it's about them. Well, he go over <laughs> fourth wall. He went over fourth wall. It was like it. Fourth wall. It's no, a, you can never go over fourth between wall. Between a Roy Fizzy and Opie Antony is a fourth wall. Hey, rub the gap. Hey, are you familiar with a, a movie called Peeping Tom? Yes, of course. Oh. Uh, well, Louis might be <laughs> onto something. Louis thinks that uh, your movie sounds very much oh, like, like Peter Peter Tom. Tom. <laughs> It is. It's the same movie. It's is a that... famous British director who uh, did a lot of who very classic. Who fucked a wife of some guy and shipped her over. That's right. <laughs> oh, he was in prison. I, uh, he, he did a famous ballet movie yeah. called The Red Shoes, but he did the pretty uh, Tom. Real famous. Well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no clue. Uh, I, I also just uh, I want to I want to touch on something. Um, the the way it was shot and edited. Yes. Do you, do you or the editor or anybody, who was in charge of the aspect ratio of the movie? All right, there were, uh, the, 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 the whole point is to be as experimental as possible. Right, I understand. Yeah. So you change aspect ratios for time. I, I, I understand. So it would yeah, go from widescreen. experimental film, <laughs> the idea is that you have an idea that you're burning to do as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really done it before, but they're, 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 you're willing to try it as an experiment to see if it'll work. The thing isn't to go, I want to make an experimental movie. So what kinds of things are experimental? Yeah. You're supposed to start with an idea of a movie that this is a movie I really want to make. I think this would be cool. And even though it hasn't been done, I'm willing to do the experiment. You're starting with, I want to do something weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. How about changing the aspect ratio there that will go. hurt people's eyes? That will just, like, the, the thing is, I'm thinking, if you were going to go widescreen, right. you, then you shoot the whole thing widescreen. And, and then in editing... You make it look like the uh, uh, regular old style TV. What ratio is that? Three, four, or yeah, yeah something, right. something like that. Going, going that. That and, gets into fractions. But right. What? It gets into fractions. Well, whatever it is, <laughs> you could have laid the whole thing out so that my television right. wouldn't snap back and forth. It was stretching yeah. and snapping like like your TV knows. Your TV, your 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 uh, DVD players the these days. Sides of the it image, knows yeah. Yeah. when to do certain things to certain aspect ratios. So if you would have just kept it all widescreen and then made it look, it wouldn't have been, it was so distracting every time it switched, mm. my TV went click, click, and then numbers came up on the side, a code, oh, the fucking God. stretch, it said wide. It went, like my TV was freaking out. My TV hated your movie. <laughs> it's, you're, it's, the, the movie is actually supposed to generate hate in every possible way. Yeah. It's oh, supposed right. to right. force people, confront people, right. push yeah. people to the yeah. edge. Yeah. In, lots of in a different way, I think, was the it, intent. It forces people well, to turn off their TV. I figured every way I could do. Of course, it I forces people to rent uh, Peeping Tom, which is the one you stole it from, which is better. <laughs> I didn't steal. See this. Oh, boy. <laughs> which was better. We, we all steal. See, what you're saying Wait, is... I didn't steal. Yeah, well, we, we all the, steal. You and the thieves sad. all steal. Yeah. Hey, Paul, we... Paul, what I'm saying is there's a difference between... Let's see, you're, you're watching a movie about a bank robbery, yes. and you're, like, immersed in it and going, holy shit... I'm I'm afraid I I'm concerned for these characters mm -hmm. there's a bank robbery going on and then actually being involved in a bank robbery right you're going to feel um an emotion right. like you said to bring out hatred it's supposed to but it's the wrong thing in the movie version it's great if you could bring that out the physical act of watching it made me hate you. Okay, well, at first it, of all, not the movie. It's essentially an anti-film. It goes against all the film jargon and the film uh, logistics that you're used to. So, uh, you see, in a way, that... <laughs> <laughs> the groaning you're hearing is Louis C.K., a filmmaker. Film, right. A filmmaker. No, no, we should I like do what you're saying. Uh, Shut you, it, James. I do. No, we should do because Louis is here. Jimmy is an insufferable prick. Can we, can we get the first? Can we get the first scene of the movie and we can please? Because I've never seen get any. the first scene up there. Would you mind if we broadcast right, the first scene of, this, the of this movie? Well, you really want to go to the North can I say something about Louis? Hold on, Louis here. No, we don't. Louis is a brilliant filmmaker. Uh, well, yes. but, he's but, a brilliant guy. Brilliant but, but, but fantastic. You're a genius. There's an idea. You're hilarious. Maybe you pushed that he didn't think of. 
And I, it's almost like he's trying to cut off your legs because what if your yeah. idea is yeah, all of a sudden I'm better? I am burning <laughs> yeah, okay. jello right. yeah, yeah. But let me just say to Louis C.K. It's killing me. Let me just say I'm to Louis C.K. I, I went the wrong way with my career. <laughs> As I say, what yes. this is intended for, first of all, this has been uh, developed on air for right. a year and a half, so everybody's aware of it. Not by anyone's choice, by the way. I understand that. That's understandable. But here, it's really supposed to leap out of, like, the shadows, and right. you don't know what the fuck this it is. It makes you want to leap from and a so, ladder. you know, like when you find well. it and have no knowledge Like your ex there. Hey, then you would be bunch real of I say, what the fuck is this? Paulo, I can understand. I can. I un understand what you're saying about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's not. Uh, oh. I understand the it's aspect an ratio is a problem. It no, and I did have a camera problem ratio. because I had two different cameramen, so there was a problem. All right, listen, well, <laughs> two different cameramen. Holy shit, uh, Desi Arnaz. Yeah, yeah, now you're a little crazy. <laughs> listen, we got to take a break. We got Paulo. He's Damn promoting, oh. I guess, Gap. Are you doing Gap. something crazy on Ron and Fez today? I, I, I'm always uh, you said something about You said something about sure. your last stunt. Yeah, and there was, we sent out a crazy it, your suicide, but... life coach guy <laughs> sent out a crazy oh, memo guy. to what is you the title guys mean? that I was going to be what, is, what does the title mean, the gap? Right. Oh, or it's gap. actually, here's the message. The divisions in society, the generation gap uh -huh. was the, the core issue. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, we're always at, we're always divided from always. each other oh, right. yeah. on every right. level. Right. What does that have to do with right. some guy in his underwear killing he's, another guy in his underwear? He's, he's torturing underwear. people, sacrificing people so we the will audience. love each other more. <laughs> oh. So we'll learn. It's like a lesson. So you'll lesson. love each other more? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I think you guys are prejudging it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's honestly right. I have a social one... message. After the break, maybe gonna... I was too stoned when I watched it. Well, maybe I don't know. After, after the break, .com. after the break, we'll do yeah, the opening scene because you got a filmmaker in studio, you know, and, like and you'll get it. an honest review. Okay, like thank you. I, I want to see some of this right. film. And also, also, you got to show off your horrendous tattoos sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. Yeah. I'll be able to stay there. Nice, sexy. Yeah, let's talk about AshleyMadison.com for a second. There's a service out there, Lou, for people that are unhappily married. And instead uh -huh. of going through a divorce, because some people feel like, holy fuck, I can't afford a divorce. So they stay married, and they're doing some of that fucking on the side. Yeah, I get divorced. And AshleyMadison.com <laughs> is there to help those people. Get divorced. Yeah. Just get divorced, right? Yeah. No, <laughs> that's I'm, expensive. Trying, I'm sorry if you're trying to make some money. Too I'm expensive. Sure yeah. Too expensive. So and let's say the marriage is fine, but you're just not getting any sex, but she's taking care of the house, the kids, whatever. You just want to go out and fuck. You know what? I'm with Lou. Just get some What are you doing? <laughs> you no, you get a, it's 100% discreet. Uh, totally. It's discreet, so it. she's not going to find out. Be a man. You're going to hook up with some chick. And yeah, she's in the same it. boat. What are you doing? Yeah, maybe she's, uh, exactly maybe right. she's uh, in a marriage, a loveless marriage. You're and then the two of you hook up. Right. Don't be a pussy. Get, get, a, get a divorce. What if everything's fine what except, for the, not uh, touching uh, your except for the sex? Fucking let her touch the street. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's yeah. fine except the sex. Yeah. She's a perfect little yeah. little woman at home. Is she? Then you need some sex on the side. Louie makes a good point. Just the fuck out of the thing. Just leave your marriage. Well, regardless, if you leave or not, I think you should go to Ashley. Look, if you can get laid by calling that place, do it. Yeah. But if you're in a shitty marriage, get out of it. AshleyMadison.com. No, a lot of people don't want to. They can. What? Yes, they you're can. You're a lot stronger yes, than a lot can. of people, Louie. Yes, we you can. You are a lot stronger than a lot of people. I'm not strong. Some people can't. They have, I'm uh, not strong. I'm saying know. this in retrospect. I couldn't do it. I'm exactly a lot of, uh, like these assets. people. Let me tell you, if I had used this service, I'd be married today, probably. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Thank God I didn't hear this commercial before. Hundred percent secure, completely anonymous, and free to join. Go to AshleyMadison.com. It's absolutely free. Join now. What the hell? Find your lovers uh, here at AshleyMadison.com. And we're back. Louis C.K. in studio today, playing Caroline's tomorrow night. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. Those tickets are going to go real fast. And, uh, wow, boy, we're lucky. Polo in studio. Oh, yeah. Promoting Gap on our show. I, yep. I don't know what we did to Ron and Fez to deserve this. Well, but, it's the uh, fourth wall. Is payback's going to be a bitch. Huh? The fourth wall is yeah, finally broken. Yeah, that fourth yeah. wall he's yeah. still going with, Louie. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, that was the incorrect use of I was wall. fucking wrong. I'm sorry I was corrected. Thank you, but Louis C.K. Louis already explained that that just Gap, doesn't work. Yeah. The movie.com. And I even got a promotional called Ron Fez. If you go there, he'll send you the film, baby. I need Some people on. are saying that they send money, you don't send the movie. Oh, that was... That's a, great. That's, that's great service. <laughs> that's you send balls. money, we don't send the movie. <laughs> in Comment, this case, that is actually the proper thing. It's the easiest thing. transaction yeah. you'll ever take part There's in. There's some accusations out there, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. You're not sending out balls. the movie. Because that's what people do on those message boards. They bust Why balls. would anybody take the time to make a complaint <laughs> that's totally unbased? In of a course. Thing uh, obviously, you have been slow on the shipping. Uh, uh, or not even shipping. Paul, uh, is it true that um, one of the backers of this movie was XM Satellite Radio? What? It's not true because it was it was a ten thousand dollar movie. If I could have gotten XM involved, we could have spent twenty thousand. Really? <laughs> you think? That's yeah, just on what? Oh, uh, because uh, Sam was just explaining to me that perhaps <laughs> Sam, what do you know uh, on this? XM was involved. I wasn't sure. Yeah, Sam. So I just threw it out there. Oh, I don't know if XM was involved or not. Oh, okay. I, I, I saw Allegations. Th yeah. Yeah. Hey, so, if, frankly, I would love for somebody to become involved. Now, don't you have some kind of a Ponzi scheme going where, because uh, I, I know uh, that people are involved in this, you give them, <laughs> they sell they sell your DVD, uh -huh. and they almost work up in levels like Amway. Yes. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Really? I've heard him, he's doing something like it this. It is a Ponzi scheme. It's Bernie made shit. <laughs> <laughs> The, I, all I'm, trying, made off. I'm trying to <laughs> get people in on the ground floor, absolutely, the because this floor. is a movement, hopefully, down the road, when people are not aware of what's happening. Because, you know, let's face it, there are people in Japan and stuff that don't really know what's going on. Uh, so eventually... They don't this, know what's going I just on. Know. What, what, right, why though. do we have to face it? You're, you're, Why do we have to face that? Is that a hard truth? And that people in Japan don't know. Let's face it, folks. Let's let's really say what's really going on here. That everyone's the elephant uh, in the room. Yeah. Paul, is that no one in Japan knows about this movie. No one. No one in Japan. I, I look. I, I have a hard time saying it personally, but let's face it. <laughs> yeah, uh, people in Japan don't know about this yet. And eventually, uh, mm -hmm. I may have to die first, but the movement will eventually take the movement. Off. Movement. The movement. The whole movement. The uh, movement. Paul, Paul, uh, just explain to me the business model of people selling your discs uh, and getting money back, and then there's like levels. How does that work? I have various people who uh, so, who who love me and want to do things for me, and so I I say, well, sure, if you sell some of the movies, I give you a little extra. A little extra. Yeah. So they well, then go plan. out and sell online. Uh, yeah. And then they get a cut but, of the money. And they get a, a, a cut. I, I, right now, I've got to see. My life is fucked up, so I'm looking sure. for all the help I can get. I'm not. I, I'm taking a blind eye to anything that's going on behind mm -hmm. my back sure. or on the side, but. By all means, I appreciate I was it. Taking a blind eye to your movie. <laughs> you take a long <laughs> <a> deaf ear. <laughs> you take a long time to answer questions. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, none it's of that made any sense. I'm evasive. What, what yeah, is that, yeah. Anthony? What are you hearing? You sell like the movie, and then yeah, you... I'm hearing like like he's got some kind of. Do you know anything about this, Sam? This, Why are you asking? Because he can't. Well, Sam knows a lot about this. <laughs> I don't have to investigate. I fucking hate this guy. You know the guys right in front of you. There's like some kind of scheme where he'll give you. Right, it's one of those things. Like if you sell the movie, you get like. More Two dollars movies back. to sell. Yeah. But then if you sell ten, you get like three. You, yeah, yeah. And... So if you sell more movies, you make more money. Sure. Yeah. How, how many copies have been bought? This. I have no. no I know. How many copies about. have been bought? Twelve. Uh, th th <laughs> I need. Yeah. That's a, That's a quick <laughs> answer, Paul. How many sold? Okay. Uh, at this point, since we really haven't properly promoted, that's why I'm here today. Mm -hmm. We sold like 120. That's not bad. Who are those saps? <laughs> how much a pop? 120. Uh, right now we have them at 1799. 1799. Price two dollars today with the Rod Dark Fez. Knight. Look, I'm a I'm a sole proprietor here. I have I have big bills that I have to pay, and I'm just saying I I'm willing. And we can probably even work out a deal with Photoshop Mike, where people in the New York area no, can get a real deal. No. Have you made your money no. back yet? No, of course oh, no. not. Let's let's look at the old. Do the scene. math. 120 yeah, times no. 18. <laughs> Uh, Louis, this is, is for you. Twelve hundred. <laughs> this is for you, Lou. It ain't ten thousand. Yeah, no, it ain't. Twenty-one sixty. We're gonna we're gonna look at the first scene. Twenty-one sixty of, of Gap. Is it, that word is it there. It, it's the first word was there. The second word is. <laughs> This is the playful is. font choice. It is. Is. <laughs> playful font. There's oh, a lot of going on. The play school font. Yeah, wait, why play you... school. Yeah, it is. The... Wait, where's our audio? And then he changes. There is to... rock music. That's actually the. Wait, we need the rock music. He writes gap twice. 
Yeah. Right, well, and that's, that's the that's shaky the Friends that's, opening. Uh, yeah, the Friends opening. Uh, <laughs> friends font. opening. Font. Uh, the music stuff. These are all default choices on Final Cut Pro. I'm a monster. <laughs> oh, this is the movie? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm a now. monster. And that's me as now a young, co headed child. I'm a monster. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. War. Life is a war. We hate That's each insane. other. It's hopeless. It'll never get any better. I wish I could do something about it. So I am. Uh, this is an art film. I, I want up. to do something that matters. Watching Make your a movie. <laughs> Have an impact. Oh, fuck Teach. Sake. Okay, Stop. We're in a theater, I agree. Duh. I get it. <laughs> Dave. Did somebody change the channel, or is this still the movie? <laughs> it's still the movie. Oh. That's my uh, late wife. That's the dead wife. That doesn't make me necessarily a nice person, but it just means you don't have to give back what they did to you. Unfortunately, the life they chose. Oh. And it does lead to that. It's and hard to make a choice. Mm. Make a choice about what? Well, she made hers. And it it stopped. Stop. You couldn't uh, wait for the truck to fucking pass I by? I wish there was a way. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't fucking just cut. There's a truck in the fucking... Let's take that so again. This is a video... No, no, that's not, a, that's not an anti-wish choice. No. Yes, I have. And I don't find any true evil in myself. I find a lot of horrible mistakes. I think you need to take a closer look. Um, is this a toll booth on the Jersey Turnpike? No, <laughs> no I have a lot of horrible mistakes, but they were never evil. I, I think you need to take a closer look. She's good. Well, if that's what you she say, is. but she's I don't know. She's not looking more. I'm not reading this to say that. She was good before she fell off a ladder and had a yeah. shoulder infection. <laughs> and she wears <laughs> lots of wacky clothes over the years. If, if it would save your soul, hundreds of thousands of you sacrifice your life for that. Not anymore. It would save my soul and my body. Your soul. Yes. Yes. Okay. I would. Oh. All right. That's all. She should have, okay. She should have this filmed is her the suicide. I lived with forever and lived <laughs> through tragedy after tragedy with, uh -huh. in what seemed like forever, but it had to end. Cops in traffic court uh, read the rec read into the record better than that. With her crazy hat. A crazy cop reading into the record what he <laughs> saw you do on the highway when you were speeding day. reads better than that. <laughs> I couldn't as good as get germs. Jones. Wait, wait, wait. She found the right balance of medication. All right, hold on, hold on, hold you on. You couldn't here. get. We no. got, we got, we got to pause this. I don't, I got, All right, I got, okay. Oh, you got to pause her. I want to know why, <laughs> if this is some kind of a video diary right. of some fictitious right. thing mm -hmm. why did you put realism in there like you talk about her it's really her she really did do that she's dead now and and you you recite it's not part of a movie it's like the fucking director having his little home movie and a, and a little comment mm. at the beginning of a movie they always say that you write what you know and you didn't write <laughs> what you know you put down it's a, it's a home movie. It's a yeah. That was it's a home so movie. Ball, so it's she a... talks like she talks like he does. Everybody yeah. in the movie is just this rambling, never <laughs> sentences that literally don't begin. <laughs> it's it's, a, it's some people have sentences that don't end. He has sentences that don't begin. They just you're, you're, come you're, in just in the middle. One moment you're not listening to him, the other moment you are. You go, how did I get? Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? It's a quasi pseudo documentary. Oh, quasi pseudo. Yeah, it is. Throwing a few words together makes it all better. Quasi pseudo. Right? Document. Okay, now I'm looking at you and you're screaming at Pat. Yeah, it's obviously like... something's going on. Oh, yeah, now something. Okay, this is. Ah! Ah! Yeah. I'm always trying to clarify my thoughts, make sure I'm right, oh, yeah. make sure I'm not making mistakes. I mean, mm. there are so many gaps. Yeah. Wow, gaps. Cool. gaps. I see. Now, look at this in the. Context. I want to start using okay. music in this presentation. <laughs> We're not going to so dead, so arrogant, just... distasteful, contemptuous, with no heart. <laughs> yeah. No wonder the record industry is being destroyed. If they even call it the record industry anymore, it's not something like that. Would make <laughs> Ooh, commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop for a second? 
Yes, so no. what's happening there is he's going to start putting some score, some music. In, so he score. tells the audience, I'm going to play some music yeah. now. <laughs> <this movie." laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll be like you're watching Jaws and the, you hear, hey, here comes a shark listening to this piece of music. <laughs> that, that that makes makes it scary. Do these go together well to you, folks? Yeah. Write yeah, me a letter and let me know. Why did you do no, that? that? Because, exactly, he is commenting on yeah. the fact that he's putting in music oh, that he hates, oh, yeah. you know, this modern, yeah. you know, type record of industry. Death Give metal me a music. break. So he's commenting on the destruction God, of society. Record industry. Why do they call it that anymore? They don't. You're the only one calling it that. <laughs> he's, he's, the music he's a guy who's obsessed with the generation. Is he? Oh, it's a character. I'm sorry. It's a character. It's, it's a, a character. So exactly. And he's obsessed with uh, the records. Records don't exist anymore. I they, know. It's crazy. <laughs> It's just insane, right? It's just, yeah. Wow. Right, keep playing it. I have a million sales, two million, and being a high point. That's because civilization is dying. Uh, it's, it's killing music. Uh, civilization, civility, things can't go on like this. So, I'm just going to play some music that everybody's coming. Can't hear you. Yeah. Can't hear you. Can't understand can't what you're hear saying. You. That it's requires alive, repeated viewings. You see, this is yeah, the film yeah. that does well, it requires to... repeated <laughs> throwing into the garbage <laughs> and never watching it once. And the deeper you get it in, it requires repeated, repeated <laughs> attention to the sound mix. <laughs> Let's hear that again. Make sure we can hear what he's saying. Because otherwise, why say anything if you're not going to turn it up? Oh my God! <laughs> get a pulse. So that's the first st time you listen to. You say, I got to see. I yep. didn't hear. No, I got no, 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 you're just no, saying. No. Why the fuck can't I hear what he's saying? No, but you're saying that it makes people intrigued and they want to come back and hear what they're saying. That's exactly. I don't even disagree. <laughs> I agree. With you. I don't disagree at all. Should we go a little more? All right, no, a little more. Let it, let it run. Uh, the camera's really it's rocking back and forth. It's doing it on purpose. It's doing it on purpose. <laughs> there was some leaves and, and it, the tree branch was pushing the guy. Okay, uh, well, the music getting louder is better. That's good. Now I can't hear me. Why did the music get really loud? And why is there a branch? It, what like, are you doing? Is, he is this fishing? supposed to be your view? Yeah, but it wasn't there before. I know. It's got a different angle. Are you hiding from these people? Yes, he is. Kids He's hiding. Oh, on your oh. We're must back. Build. The idea with handheld camera, so yeah, it's supposed to be that it's kind of rough shot. It's a chaotic feeling. Yeah, you have the feeling that the camera's not in a stable ground. It's not sitting there. Mm -hmm. But if you actually shake the camera back and forth on purpose, it's just <laughs> fucking <laughs> retarded. Wasn't shaking. It was a gentle rock. No, there's no gentle anything. No. Else. No, that was a fucking it like, like you were having a seizure. Yeah, I, no, there was that no. That was you saying I want this to look like handheld camera, <laughs> which it would have if you just held it in your hand. Michael J. Fox. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was rockabye. It was kind of a rockabye. No, oh. family spills. That's oh. a new show. <laughs> oh, you, just, you just shook a baby to death. That's the type oh. of shaking you were doing God. with the camera. Guest but. cameraman Ted Kennedy on the inauguration <laughs> yeah. day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you're saying that basically you were kind. Of shake it to give the, the, the feeling of realism like the yeah, person's actually right. there. Exactly. Yeah, it does exactly. work. I mean, didn't have a tripod, <laughs> so I used a paint Blair shaker to put the camera on. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a tripod, so I used Catherine Hepburn <laughs> and I mounted it in her cunch. <laughs> Paul, uh, I think so far you're doing well with the review with Louis C.K. He's yes, good. I think, so far, it's really good. <laughs> I think oh, really after good. I'm dead, this will become a huge thing. Yeah, uh, like, 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 yeah it's like thing. tomorrow. Like art, <laughs> art. <laughs> because uh, I'm going to murder you, and they're going to find out it's because of this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go back. We're almost uh, done with our. It's going to be Exhibit A. It's, it's important. Anything. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah. And that's. And neither can I. If you're not blind. Now we will I'm be I wish I was blind right now. <laughs> Some of the nudity coming right up. Okay, oh, wow. Of course, the abduction of people. I hope it's uh, A couple who uh, okay. appeared to meet up. Uh, a, a typical. Typical couplings uh, in the night. I mean, pointlessness of yeah, pointlessness. Uh, common sexual behavior of modern society, human species. Why is she really laughing in the background? She's not laughing. The final one. Why is she screaming? She's scared. Oh, she's scared. It's like, it's essence, like she's crying. She's crying. No you know, there's, there's a naked girl on the couch in the background. That God needs to have. She's frightened in a pure form. 
And the only way I can do this is... How did she not really think you were going to kill her? Like, you're, you're that nuts. <laughs> I would think you were making a snuff film. Is that supposed to be a blood stain on the back <laughs> wall there? So See, that's that? the kind of little details in the repeat Yeah, little viewing. details. Yes. Oh, my God. Purified myself. You're right. I mean, going back and forth on the message Is that supposed to be a blood stain? Yeah, no, exactly. You're supposed to be thinking, is that a blood stain? You're not supposed to be going, did that idiot really think that I was going to think that's a blood stain? Did they think for a second that I was going to buy that? <laughs> fucking red paint. As a blood, what did you dip? You know, Jesus. It looks like it was done with like a, a, a thin brush. That's kind of a thematic reinforcement in a way. No, it's, it's not. Subliminal. It's subliminal. It's just a mistake on it's, your part to have done such a shoddy job. There's nothing subliminal about it. It couldn't be more obvious. It's, it's yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my you god. You didn't want to be yeah. very obvious with it. You just wanted to kind of put it there and let people think about it's, it. And it's it's get like it. subliminal. Right, yeah, Jim. Please. Something yeah. not do we, subliminal, but like. Do, yeah, we at least, yeah, do we at least get to see this girl's tits? Yes. Who is the girl? She's um, actually very good. I don't care. You can she's tell she's, she's naked. She's actually she's naked. She's she's naked. She's she's very good. It's my brother in law's ex wife. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's go. My ex wife. My sister. We got it. My brother in law's ex wife. And making it as. You mean your sister? That's what I was saying. To, to make it understood that all right, you're holding that some um, weaponry. Weaponry. This, weaponry. This yeah, a, thank you. A, there's a shears and a knife, and, knife. Yeah. and, and I mean, there's also some say, long metal. All right, there's, 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 let there's me just point something out. There's a girl, a <laughs> naked girl, over on the bed with a look on her face like, "Come over anytime, guys." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, instead, we're listening to a fat guy in an orange shirt with a horrendous mustache say things that mean nothing. Exactly. This is good camera work, though, because. And there's the a hell? light behind no, you, that's which, which is oh, the most that's annoying thing in the world. No, the light is from the camera. It doesn't no, matter what it's the sun. It doesn't matter what the source of the light is. It's behind you your see stupid the camera, fucking man, head. And your fucking painting on the wall. What's it the, is really fucked up. Is that the light from the camera in a reflection? Yeah, then take that, that picture down. If you down. remember Clockwork Orange, yes. there was a lot of that kind of stuff. Well, this is just like right, exactly. how dare you. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most carefully made, beautiful films ever. But it was Kubrick. Made deliberately to look like <laughs> a porno dare you. film. It is. It, this it, doesn't. A porno like... director. You wouldn't get hired as a porno director. I swear. If you, to God. If you gave this to a fucking I porn company, they'd go swear. fuck you. I swear to God. In they Andy's... wouldn't hire you to swab the cum off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> they said you wanted clockwork cards to look like. They wouldn't a let you fluff film. the biggest, the ugliest fag on the set. <laughs> So your instincts are so poor that we don't even want you around here. You're, you're oh, something up. We're talking about the camera work. Oh, <laughs> there's no fluff. Oh, in good it. God. <laughs> Louis. All right. Go ahead. All right. So wait, that, was, that was intentional. It was absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We want to yeah. see the naked chick it's at least. It's going to be a zoom. So. All right. She's, right. she's, she's really trying to get out of those <laughs> ties. <laughs> she's frightened. She's barely moving. I'm a big guy. She uh, kind of looks hot, though. Yeah, she looks very hot. She's very hot. She reminds me of Angel Angel Tompkins from the She doesn't remind me of anybody because I can't see her because I'm looking at you. If you remember, Angel Tompkins was a gorgeous actress in the 70s. Right. Good reference. That's why we're more evil than anything else. Uh, but soon my rambling will be over and we'll do the zoom. Oh the rambling is good enough because it shows the state of mind. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's getting up. Right, it's getting up. The promo is getting up with the, with the shears. Do uh, the sacrifice for the benefit of the viewers. For the benefit of the viewers. Who's, oh, your I'm turn of the I'm telling them that I'm doing this. Yes. This is, oh, like, man. She's scared. Oh, no, wow, she's, she's acting. Hot. Dude, what the fuck is she doing there? How do you get a hot girl? Oh, no, she's, she's acting. She's <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. She's frightened, though. Oh, turn up that music again. There's a nipple. <laughs> what are you... Are, are you... Uh, the back. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Oh God! I hope this is. Oh, really? The back of your leg? I, as I say, I just I, oh, now it's. How's the naked her guy? Name. What the you fuck? Know her name? All right, just... we could talk All about right, this. Yeah, he killed her. <laughs> okay. Well, but let's go to Louis because Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, <laughs> Louis <laughs> moaning <laughs> over there. Now He's moaning. Wait, Louis had a problem uh, with the murder scene, Paul. Yeah, let's yeah. Go the back of his leg. We're hearing you going. Eh. 
And we had a, a very good opportunity <laughs> to see a nice set of tits, and you yeah. wouldn't even give us that in this crap. And you movie. don't even throw like a just a little jar of blood in the shot or something. Yeah, <laughs> why was there that a bloodless? Would you use all the paint on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> there was no more red paint. Sorry. <laughs> there was a lot of blood later. We we brought in a guy who was actually good in a lot of. Uh, brought in a guy. <laughs> brought in a guy. Later. Benjamin Moore. <laughs> <laughs> and we used a lot of the old school. Uh, you know where we well, you, things in the you, you must have cut all that out. <laughs> it's late because I just saw the back wait. of your leg and heard you. Yeah, grunting. where's the murder? And like, that wasn't horrifying. It's implied. Was she dead? Implied. At the end of that, because her her tits were still moving up and down like she was still breathing. Well, I thought you said it's a slasher people movie. People don't die right away. They right. even did oh, well, when people sure. were guillotined. They even did a study back in the old days about how long the heads would respond. Can we try how that long? now? <laughs> Sometimes ten seconds. Who did the study? Who funded it? Sure. Guys who were interested in guillotines. Back. Yeah, you know what? You're right. That's the best murder scene I ever saw. <laughs> you just talked me into enjoying I'm it. I'm him over. You just debated it into a good scene. Holy Instead shit. of actually shooting anything that matters. Oh and I think God. with repeat viewing. I mean, viewing, Jesus Christ. I'm not ah, repeat viewing. viewing. Especially in this day Yeah, repeat age. viewing. No one has time for repeat viewing. Well, repeat viewing. Come viewing. on. Cut him some slack. So, is that no filter Paul now on your no, couch? No, no. Couldn't no. even take the we shit off to... the coffee table. <laughs> the shit to... on the coffee table, it's, it's just somebody had to walk over there and just take that off the coffee table, and you can see uh, 90% production... more of the first yeah. person's face. You, you didn't have a set dresser Our there? Our production designer and... decided that this was good because the obscuring sure. of the oh, face. Oh, yeah, blame why... your production designer. <laughs> and why is your couch covered with, one, a, but... with a blanket or something? You didn't want to get the fake blood on your... I There's no was... fake blood. There I... wasn't any. No. Why the why the it's because he's at somebody's house where they were don't let the naked person on my couch. It's disgusting. Right. For your stupid movie. <laughs> no, it's not gonna make any money, you idiot. You'll see. All right. Uh, can we move on? All right, let's move on a little bit. Why did you paint on my wall? <laughs> now I think we should fast forward to the uh, no filter Paul scenes as well, especially again. because this is good though. By it's the way, this scene right here yeah. is exactly the same. The same camera, the same babble, and the same bad murder, only instead of the hot chick, now you have some fucking guy on the couch. Same same thing. Yes. There was no Could difference. Speak, this speak is not a murder? filmmaker. This is a guy with a yes. message that he's trying to impart. Well, don't do it in the third person like it's not you sitting here with the <laughs> shitty movie. Paulo, do you kill people for real? <clears throat> we just haven't found the bodies yet. Um... You know, you know, like he was talking about. <laughs> he can't answer the question. No, that the the answer to that question would be no. Oh. You were in you were in Caddyshack, weren't you? Yes, I was. Who'd you play in Caddyshack? I was uh, the the main scenes I'm in are in the swimming pool scene. I'm the waiter who gets knocked into the pool, and in the dining room scene, I'm the waiter acting up a storm in the right behind the main actors. How uh, how did you you had to audition for that? I was in uh, Little Mary Sunshine in uh, in college down in Boca Raton, and uh, that's and not an answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, and that's they auditioned an the question. people from that play, and I was the only one who got a. You're the one that gets knocked pool. into the pool. Yeah, oh, I'm kind of impressed. You still get residuals for that, or is it not? No, like they. Uh, you the know, answer so to the Jim's question was yes. You auditioned. Though. <laughs> yes. Oh, it wasn't the. Uh, yes. Yeah, exactly. Did you audition for that movie? I I drove to. <laughs> no, we need I an answer. In the sea lot, well, and I we took the ticket for the sea. But C did you audition? To, excuse me, I went to the office. I told them I was there. All right, to see uh, Ellen Jansen's because casting. She was the one that was casting it. I'm, so did you audition? Let me finish. But so did you then fucking, I took the sides. Did you fucking audition? Me, I'm going to choke the you. the sides off the table, <laughs> and I re yes, I when I read for the camera, then I auditioned. <laughs> oh, and I actually went back for a second audition, which oh I God. blew. Oh right. my God! <laughs> Who'd you yeah. blow? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It was in a hotel room, and they said, "No, I." Why don't we uh, continue right, with this let, murder? Because I I got to see this murder now because it's just like it's a moment like of low resolution. Yeah, why is it like hard to look at? It's low contrast, low resolution. I know damn it's well. Digi. It's like you weren't trying for this look. You wanted something cleaner. Did you no. want a grainy look? You wanted a no, grainy I look. I wanted right? a grainy look. No, you didn't. Why? Not I swear to God, look. I love the grainy look. look. Did, did, that's not grainy. That's not grainy. Video That's noise. It's called noise. 
That's not knowing what fucking I kind of file you're putting my, on your computer. Go look at Clark. <laughs> That's what happens. I edit a video a all day, and when it comes out like that, I go, "Ah, oh, shit." There's a lot of yeah. Yeah. try again, but you Fuck. don't do things twice. What were you, you saying about Clark? Use the Rico? wrong compression Clark on Rico it or some shit. Yeah, it does. When you do it in low light. Barry Lyndon has a lot of graininess because sure. they do it with candle. Oh, uh -huh. you should fucking shoot yourself in the face <laughs> for comparing those two things. <laughs> oh my God, he's. Comparing. You know what he did to make Barry, Barry Lyndon is a movie that's shot entirely with natural light. Right. There's no electricity oh, wow. used in the in the movie. Right. right. Stop saying right like it had anything to do with it. <laughs> and the way he did that was Stanley Kubrick found lenses that were built back like the first lenses ever made back when they only had that kind of like he went and did all this research and historical archaeology and dug he up didn't the have to though. All he had to do, all he had to do was turn was on a do fucking Paul flip cam him. and fucking yes. and edit it on iMovie. <laughs> With some unlicensed I'm music that you're going to get sued for using. <laughs> and refusing to, and somebody probably said, hey, don't you want to move that light that's glaring in the black? No, I, it's okay, because I, I, I have a heart on it. I want to keep doing this right now. <laughs> I'm just saying there are similarities yep. to Barry Lewis. There isn't a single one. Similarities? Oh, wow, I, Louis feels getting mad. Uh, uh, let's get the. Yes, let's out keep of the way. going. Sure. Experience at this point in that uh, the idea of. Now, here. I had uh, him, who I, I always feel the male is the guiltier of the species. They're mm. the more vile, the more evil, the real predator, the real source of all that is wrong with society. Did somebody off camera just cough? Yeah, <laughs> I did hear that. Can you please roll it back? <laughs> you, did, you really <laughs> did hear that. <laughs> and again, That's... we need to sacrifice him. Nobody's respecting the set like they're sitting there. <laughs> no. They're walking, or you can hear them walking around. There was, no, there's, there was a cop in the studio here. How did you? That is wrong with society. If, if somehow women could take control and take over, <laughs> it might be a better <laughs> There it is. Somebody <laughs> caught. <laughs> or sneeze. Or what about him? He's choking he in the background. That's, that wasn't him. All right. Oh, there's a boring oh, knife again. Would, <laughs> would, you just, <laughs> would you just use the uh, cam <laughs> mic? Whatever. We'll see. No, it was a like good a lot, of camera. The most oh, he's acting. Uh, oh, he's it's, acting. Just, it's really not personal. It's just that it's just to uh, this film will hopefully be seen by everyone. No, it won't. Society. And yeah, you're gonna die. Everybody, everybody has a shitty day. Enough. Everybody has a shitty you're day. Gonna you're gonna day. die soon. I'm having a shitty day right now. You don't even know her name. I wish I was him, really living that moment. I'd rather be that guy, really tied up on a couch, getting shears in you, yeah, than watch it happen. I was convinced. Let Thanks me go. Going. Let me go. I don't know her name. The viewers. Now, I don't know your name. Yeah, you don't know her name. You don't know my name. I'll get somebody. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. meet another guy. Was there a script? I, it's really not about The way this was done. Yes or no question. It's a yes or no question. It's a yes or no question. Larry David. Right. It's a yes or no question. That's right. Was there a script? Well, no. I bought a computer. No. I, I, got final, uh, I got final draft, which is a script writing program. I bought some paper with three holes in, in these sides. <laughs> <laughs> and some brats. Uh, I then proceeded to write uh, to write some. Uh, so there we, wasn't a script. We had extensive interviews uh, with everyone involved um, in the film, so there would be a common uh, ground. When right. when I interacted with them, I would know everything. I, I yeah. Kind of like everybody working towards the same goal in their own way. In a right. Way. right. I, was, of course. I interviewed oh everyone, God. and I knew. I want to. Fucking choke, Jimmy. Why? I want to choke you out. I, I actually understand where he's going with this. I want to Vince McMahon your head. I'm not saying that there aren't certain things that could probably be fixed in, in post, but I do think that it's, it's a lot better. Everybody's just kind of razzing you. Yeah, they're right. I think busting balls is what I'm used that's to. Part on the of it, that's what makes us funny, sure. I, I know what's going on here, by the way. You're going to turn into a real serial killer, and then this movie's going to be like, holy fuck, you know that serial killer? He made That probably weird, would be the best film. way to sell it. Right. you got to be all over the news. You're going to have to kill people, uh, well, Paul. Well, let's up. just say we're at the beginning of our marketing strategy. Oh, oh, so the murder <laughs> isn't out of the question as far as the marketing goes. Marketing we are right? at the beginning of it. They this pick is... you up for uh, being a serial killer, then this thing is going to have some legs, my friend. Mm -hmm. Some legs. Mm -hmm. let's, yeah. let's get to the... Just don't kill me. I right. still... Soon enough, you're going to be dead, and it's moments away. Moments away, and the pain will be bad for the first few seconds, but trust me, it won't be that long before you are... Lost in oblivion. If this was, let me say something about what you just said. Uh -huh. If this was a filming, if he murdered this person, yeah. and then tried to sell it like as a ghoulish, you got to see this. Even the, he wouldn't be convicted of the murder. 
if this was the evidence, <laughs> because the fucking cops and the and the jury would start watching and go, just turn turn it, let them go, turn it off. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. Well, I was kind of. I don't want to watch it till the point exactly. where I witness the murder and put him in jail. All right. But the dialogue was kind of chilling though. I uh, was. I get the point. Pause for a second. Because I want to comment on his dialogue. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you're walking this guy through the fact that you're going to kill him, mm. and he's pretty much helpless, and he has to. He has what to hear what's going to happen to him. What is in your pocket? There? I believe uh, that's my wallet. It's kind of a big wallet. If I yeah. Out, so I why did you have your wallet out. while you're filming? Can you leave that on your uh, dresser? Or something? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Cappy. Oh my God! Let's get to the murder. I mean, maybe it was nice. this. We just stop short there, Jim. I just like carry copies of DVD in there, but. Let's look at the back of his leg again. There's a lot more blood later in the sure. movie. And, you know, most most of these murder movies don't have a lot of blood. You, you actually do get a lot of implied violence and a lot of things that are pretty terrifying. Where are you stabbing him? You're yeah, showing yeah, his chest and head. Yeah, where are you stabbing him? He's working the lower torso. I don't see. No, we'll let him look. There's nothing there. 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 It's I don't below see. the camera, out yeah, of view of camera. Where you oh stab him in the God. ass? Where you stab ass him? Ass and balls. <laughs> ass and balls. There's yeah, no he looks like he's being stabbed that... in the balls right now. Look at the look on his face. <laughs> look how bored that guy he is. He just laid there. You could <laughs> roll onto the person. floor. He's you like, could... oh, let you, me out You didn't have much of a budget, so why wouldn't you use all your blood early in the movie to really get people hooked? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why waste all the blood later <laughs> on when no one is I see is still there watching? Louis' groans are the best, like, Review you can ever have. It's just, uh, uh, uh. All right, let's see how this oh, goes. Were, were you trying to purposely avoid the violence on camera because yeah. it's like, yeah, it's got like a, a Hitchcock yeah, vibe. Exactly, almost. and that's, uh, believe me, you'd be surprised if we listed the amount of films where the violence happens off the camera right. and it's like what? what? Name one movie. Yeah, but like, you're not implying <laughs> violence in this scene. You're showing that it's definitely not happening. <laughs> Because you're showing the, the uh, vital organs of the person. And so you are wrong. proving that this stuff, like, you're making it very clear that the person is yelling for no reason. We're not seeing his penis. Well, we don't see you, his If you penis. cut off somebody's dick and ate it, they wouldn't die for three days. <laughs> right. right. Thank you, Louie. I had Jesus. a long metal thing that could have gone up his ass. Oh, oh wow. Sure. All right. It's Im implied up the ass. Sure. Let's you could have made a better movie <laughs> if you cared at all. It was $5,000. It's not even lack of skill. Story. It's just not three, giving a shit. Three days. Remember uh, that too. Well, it was experimental, and of course, experimental three days. Right. Yeah, that's not how you get reviews. Well, we got to give him a break. Did it you? Only took you know a month instead of two months to film the movie. Uh, yeah, you look at the what was the, the Desperado that Robert Rodriguez did. That was the big <laughs> way to go. push that thing. Rodriguez. With, no, right. uh, no <laughs> moment. Well, are you comparing and you look yourself at that, to it's Robert? Shoddy. You look at Evil Dead One. Very shoddy looking. <laughs> but this is supposed to look shoddy looking. And you, this is what's this. not being acknowledged. The original Evil oh, Dead did kind of have like a very low grade quality to it, but the <laughs> horror was there. Oh, right, shit. exactly. All right, All right. Let's, let's get to the murder. What's happening here? Oh, that's it. That's it for the murder? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> we have a lot of murders in this film, <laughs> so we need to. Then it comes. Now we're um, uh, down some uh, little lane with nice trees on each side with uh, uh, some uh, chick Look at that. Uh, in and out of focus. Yeah, from the good. back. She's. Oh. Um, no. Now oh, she's tied God. up. No, she's <laughs> Look at the ropes. You're right. <laughs> They're loose. Oh, the bad oh, loose yeah. ropes. She's already tied the ropes. Right. Don't really move, bad. honey, because it'll be so clear how <laughs> loosely you're tied up. Yeah, that's what else is happening here. She's clearly drugged. Yeah, that's yeah. like how oh, they used clearly. to tie up the people on Gilligan's <laughs> Island. Like, like when they would, some bad guy would get on the island and yeah. tie him up. Yeah. There's just no realism yeah. to that. And they have lots of money on Gilligan's Island. Yep. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, Let me, you know, the great Sherwood Schwartz. <laughs> yeah, he really... Uh, if you looked at some of his works, his the Brady Bunch, so um, Gilligan's Island. How'd you get the hot girl in your film, though? That's yeah, actually who is that? no builder balls, though. Daughter. Is that? Oh, <laughs> oh fuck God. yeah! She is hot as shit. That's his daughter. Yeah, yeah. He, he's she got hot cute. daughters. I want to date no fold the fold daughter. <laughs> if you look at the side of her face, you can also see the duct tape clearly coming up and off the face. Yeah, yeah. I would have that duct tape off my yeah, cock in there. A second. Plow no filter Paul's daughter's mouth. I have to get back to the fact that, uh, uh, all things aside, <laughs> right. this was an experiment. Sure, all I things tried, aside, to, movie tried to do something. It is what it is. And my life is fucked up, so I need people to buy this movie oh. so we can start the movement and I can move on to the second the phase. Movement. Yeah, movement. So the gas the movement. So, Gaston, what's the second phase? Well, the second phase would be to be to go out and start promoting 
harmony and love through fear and death. Yep. That is actually He's going to start um, killing people. <laughs> I don't know. No, nah, but he's, he's making a social statement, though. Play this tape back someday. <laughs> I, Paulo's going to start killing 5, people. 5000 Wait, how much did you spend on this? 5000 That's uh, 10000 What did you do with the money? 10, I know. Where did <laughs> the <laughs> money go? penny of it on the screen. Where the fuck room did room the money go? You must have ate well in those three days. Where's this film? The St. Regis? Where the fuck are you staying? Okay. This was up near Woodstock. Thousand dollars for <laughs> Woodstock. What? Woodstock. How much is a hotel up in fucking Woodstock? It's like ten bucks. What? <laughs> well, we had a uh, like a somebody. You got? Where'd you get the money? Where'd you get the five thousand dollars? Uh, there was a couple of people, and then oh, oh, and then I had to wind up buying out one guy because there was all right the conflicts. Oh god, sure. Well, so you went to somebody. Some here's films. he went to somebody. Said, hey, if you give me five thousand, I'll make a movie. And, and they said, you know what? You're a pain in the ass, but. Uh, you know, I no. want to. I want to give you this. All right. So they gave you the money. Listen, I know what happened. Let me tell you. <laughs> and you took the money. I don't know what your vice is, but you blew all of it, and then you made this piece of shit with nothing. <laughs> we know that the That's worst piece of crap That's movie ever cost two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars. You could have made 000. a lovely movie for five thousand dollars. That's plenty of money. Uh, no, who makes a movie for five thousand dollars? He's gonna make Possible. a much better movie. movie. Well, you didn't. I just... <laughs> <laughs> you spent the money on whatever it is you do. I don't know what it is. I and need one hundred and forty-five thousand right now to pay off my credit card. Sure. Well, yeah. So I'm glad that that's yeah. where the five grand then went. Two houses I have to I can't unload. Right. I've got a horrible life. I've got one. Listen, good woman. I'm sorry, but I still hate the movie. <laughs> so Paul, who's the girl on the scene? What, what, what's what's her thing? She was, again, a, an example of a young member of society who doesn't Ooh. care oh. and yeah. so I, it needs to be sacrificed for the greater good. Yeah. Sure. Greater good. Okay. Yeah. Of what? what? I don't know. Let's, yeah. All right, let's push play. It won't matter. So in a minute, I slice your wrist, we'll empty your blood into a bucket in a matter of... Now, I'm putting that shirt on eBay because you can be tell be that that's from the... But it's the ramblings of a well, madman. You're putting the shirt. You were serious right there. <laughs> I, was, but I haven't done it yet. I don't know. I, I Couldn't even so commit with the duct tape. You're right. When you, you believe in that She's on drugs. I really don't even She's know. She's obviously what, drugged. Uh, you know, he just feels you're you're just that the duct tape was necessary. To reinforce in her mind that it was coming soon. Yeah. At uh, one point, when it could be a million years, which is nothing. I mean, Look at her. She's like, eye, like breathing or through a mouth with duct tape over it. She's like, hurry up and... We'll all be yeah, it's back. like, oh my God, is this scene over yet? How long am I supposed to heave my breasts like this? Right now, you're going to cease to exist. And uh, there is no consciousness. I wish I had no consciousness right now. <laughs> So I do. I oh, they wait. She, they cut in for a second. And, uh, Go back to yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Isn't that amazing? There was another shot. There was they a different in. shot. You're actually I agree. To do a cut in. I yeah, agree. That that wow. is. There was a now, little insert cut in there. You, you actually called me on a good point that there really <laughs> uh, should not be any and, visible uh, editing in this movie. What did you do that for? Did you do that to put together two shitty takes of you? Yes. Talking? yes. <laughs> and you had it. Or did you go? Did you want really to be really clear to everyone that that duct tape is not doing anything to restrain her mouth? My editor loved the shot so he stuck it in love the shot my but if editor it's, if it's one my editor uh, if it's one guy that's working the camera what did you your, your psychopath that fucking you know use his final so, cut pro yeah I so you had other shots there. you took in you went and you got other shots right but, but the point was is that, that was that was an abnormality uh, uh, in the film it's it shouldn't have happened but it it did and it's a nice show the tape, it is, the nice tape is up on both sides <laughs> Oh my God. The tape is. <laughs> if she licks her lips, the tape falls off. Yes. <laughs> you can see she's practically sleeping now. She's yeah, because she's drug. bored of this she's shitty movie drugged. that she's in. She's drug. She's drug. You're putting her to sleep with that. I've not, it, literally a person who's about to get murdered is falling asleep because the murderer is so boring. <laughs> It'll be like when you see those beheading get videos and the guy with the hood is reading the Arabic. <laughs> And the guy, Neil, you know, the fucking tied up guy turns back and goes, Could you fucking just cut my head off? All right. <laughs> and this is just boring. And towards the, one of the final scenes is when I'm carrying We're a drug person I'm sorry, Paul, physically I'm into the scene and then I'm dressing them. Yeah. All right. Push play. Consciousness. So I'm going to cut you now. <laughs> and uh, you're going to be scared. It's going to be painful. It's going to hurt. Okay. So, so don't move. Don't move. Oh, because I don't want to cut myself. Okay. See. 
Oh, you're missing the fake blood. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Is this still moving? Uh, right. We will be cutting to a dripping scene, actually. Wait, can you go back? Wait, was that he was supposed to be yeah. stabbing her just I now? think he's cutting with the wrong Thank side you. of the knife. Dude, you're cutting with the... Go back. Were you cutting with the back end this of the knife? This is actually a prop he's supposed knife. To, uh, he's supposed to cut her wrist. All right. A watch prop this. knife. Which has, you know, where it's cut out. Watch this. Don't promote. Don't because I want to cut myself. Yeah, go. Yeah, okay. look at this. <laughs> you're, you're using a prop <laughs> knife when you're using the wrong end of it? <laughs> no! I couldn't it's possibly use it. The point of a prop knife is you can cut with the blade and it won't hurt anybody. It's made of plastic. Hole. Then how come it looks like it's on the back of the knife? It looks yeah. like it's on the back I'm of the knife. I couldn't have been. It was you're like. Fucked up. It's like paint by numbers. There's a hole in the knife. Is that where, where the you budget went? The wrist that in. fucking knife was a $5,000 knife. That was it. It was a $5,000 prop knife. That was also the most clumsy. Hey, let's lift this up into the shot. Yeah, let's. Look, look, See everybody. Yeah, yeah. Look, everybody. Oh. Don't be fooled just by her amazing acting and mine. <laughs> look I'm really this doing this. I, look at this thing I bought at the, at the funny costume store. <laughs> look at my my niece's uh, Halloween costume that we're using in this movie. This is uh, it's a nice rope too. It's a nice thick rope. I thought it. Yeah, why don't you make it tight so it's more believable? Yeah. Right, let's go. This is worse than like an Ed Wood movie. It it's is not worse. worse than Ed Wood. Oh, no, it is. It is much These are worse. real locations. So much worse. Yeah. It is much worse. Ed Wood movies had, had like, bullshit. Plots? No, they had like sets where the walls were shaking. Oh, yeah, that's crazy, Yeah, and right? you have oh, uh, yeah, people coughing in the background. <laughs> and fucking... Somebody may cough in the middle of a m m murder, serial happen. killing. Cut, print, perfect. <laughs> it's three days. Yeah, it's a bucket. Let's, Take a let's fourth. Let's out, you're going to feel less and less. <laughs> three, so, you know, defending just, it like, we only had three days. Take another day. Take yeah. four yeah. days. It's terror. You, you must be feeling pretty bad about it. I'm feeling pretty oh, yeah, bad right well, now. This is like your last minute on Earth. I wish it was yeah. my last minute on Earth. <laughs> I wish it was the last minute of the movie. Then you're gone. I mean, in the context of eternity... How did fucking No Filter Paul you know, conjure up that chick? Years, what the day, fuck is that? It's probably a stepdaughter. Ah? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you're right, okay. Now, truthfully... Oh, boy, truthfully, yes. <laughs> if you... Hopefully, at some point, when this movie is out... And people don't it, know about it. Is it is out. No, but I know. I know. But at this point, I no haven't really promoted. Coming. Yeah. I haven't oh. really fully promoted it. And, and, right. and, and I'm going to continue to promote Recall it. Recall Ron and Fez. And in years from now. Years from now, right. They're going to say, people are going to find this movie. They're going to say, what the fuck is this? And believe me, that's the reaction that's going to happen with people. They're going to be confused because they won't know the I say story. it now. We all know I'm some of the I'm saying, what story. the fuck is this now? But it's because, also because you know the backstory. But yes. those that don't know the backstory will be more. No, they'll confused. just say some guy grabbed a camera and some friends and made a shitty movie. I think. I think. You see, you think, but you, you get, you're looking. I at don't know. It from you're your right. Yes. You know something. You're absolutely right. Fucking Mall Cop was the number one movie for right. two weeks uh, in a row. He looks like in this movie. <laughs> like, like Mall Cop. <laughs> and you notice I lost a lot of weight. You look good. I what? lost 60 pounds in six months, mostly wow. from stress from the divorce. That's yeah, good. good for you. It's a healthy way to lose weight. From the Magic Johnson diet. <laughs> <laughs> can only hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All righty. Here we go. So just savor this moment. Just be calm. Mm -hmm. just enjoy it. Just Breathe in, breathe out, let the air fill your lungs. That's what breathing is. Times. <laughs> that, now, truthfully, let that piece out. Oh, oh, let's just go ahead and cue that right there. <laughs> <laughs> as good as any place. Just drop that right in there. It's as good as any place. It's fine. Holy fuck. Just oh, he's killing drop me. Drop some so unestablished music right in there. He's fucking killing me. Just put that anywhere. Oh, yeah, just drop that anywhere. <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> Subliminally, you have to use some standard horror sure. effects. Yeah, but you put them in a fucking place where you had a thought. <laughs> you don't just drop it When randomly. you least expected it. <laughs> you know, you know, I dropped just, in. I fully expected it. it nothing to do with expectations. Uh, right. <laughs> fucking. Uh, really? You weren't expecting that. Oh, Honestly, God. you weren't expecting uh, that. No. Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't expecting to have my day ruined. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
All right, and you know. Uh, Wait a minute, is this still going on? <laughs> <laughs> when you can't tell if it's. For the Hold on a second. <laughs> this is a freeze frame on a moment that doesn't matter. <laughs> we're listening to the music. I thought we paused so we could talk about it. Right, but the music and then just dawned on me. Wait a minute, I'm still hearing that shit music. <laughs> but it's paused. It's free. You freeze I was frame. Watching making her people die. fucking check their. People are going to have two remotes in each hand. Okay, my TV's. <laughs> fucked up my video my, wait a minute is it, I pause, did I press pause by mistake how am I hearing the music when I press pause if you experience the movie oh, in the proper setting I mean here we are commenting on the movie yeah. actually we're not allowed to experience here I'm actually watching her die and there is that chilling moment where I'm just watching her die and that's all it's nothing else but silence and, and the music silence and the music yeah. watching her die and I oh. Mm -hmm. Watching, uh, and you may have thought it was paused, and that's interesting because that's how still this moment is. Oh, it's not paused. No, still you guys right. just aren't moving. It's still the movie's still playing too, right? <laughs> oh, no, right. I think we've had push play. Oh, okay, now it's playing. What happens up top there? Something it's keep it fucking uh, fucking window dressing that it. Oh, oh, he moved. <laughs> Some of the blood. Oh, no, she's nope. bleeding down her oh, hands. No, she's some not. Of blood, huh? No, she certainly isn't. No. <laughs> now we get to the local the movie. Oh, this is the wow. last thing. Great. All I need to say is... Great. <laughs> Great. Great, we thanks. get our fucking wow sticker in, in there. Putting a wow sticker. Can in we sue? Film. Can we sue? Great, that thanks. he now has to digitize that out on every copy. <laughs> that would rule. Please, let's do that. Gabthemovie.com. You can use the promo code Ronfez. I need you to buy this movie. Trust me, it will. And I would be happy to autograph them down the road. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. Well, that no, way, that's all right. I do start killing people. It will be something at least worth it, it. It'll. Yeah, you'll have a signature on there. That's. Uh, can you do some kind of stunt for us today? Well, I obviously I had sent a memo out about all kinds of horrible things. So the first thing you could do is have all your interns come and punch me in the stomach as hard as they want to. That would be fun. <laughs> no, I, I, I hope it ends oh, like Houdini. You can get 17 <laughs> people. Didn't he die from that? Danny's got an email, uh, punch in the email from Paul O. Uh, an email from Paul O. Well, it's not actually from Paul O. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's from, according to this, it's from his manager and life coach. Let me get his name here for you guys. <clears throat> Dr. Machine Gun. <clears throat> Do you know a Dr. Machine Gun? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's sort of like Manchester. What, uh, what medical correct. school do you Dr. Machine Gun <laughs> go to? And if you read this thing, which is fairly long, it, it details what could happen to me today under these circumstances. And I was trying to avoid it, but I mean, I'm not going to argue with my life coach. And so, you know, what? <laughs> who is Dr. Machine Gun? That doesn't sound like a reputable doctor. I, I hope an actual machine gun is your life coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So the, he suggested I do all these things that are like detailed what? in this. Oh, Danny, it's horrible. Like what? It's horrible, like piercings and stabbings and all kinds of things. As we get up to a certain sales level, right. I would have more and more horrible things happen to me. But obviously, I was sure. telling him that was crazy stuff. Mm, um, that sounds crazy. Well, I have a list here. So let's see. If he, it says here that if if Paul sold. 10 DVDs, he would get three needle piercings through his arm skin. Another 10 is another three. Another 10, he goes for the legs. And then, so that's, that's one level. And then up to 50, then you could slap, we could shave his body and slap him with rubbing alcohol. 75 copies of Gap sold will pierce his bottom lip. And then, I mean, then the levels get kind of retarded because then there's 100, 400, like he really thinks he's going to sell 400. 400. What's 400? What do you do? For oh, 400. 400 uh, there will be a. Uh, this is according. This is not me. These are not my ideas. This is courtesy Dr. Machine Gun. Yes. Uh, there will be a staff challenge where an intern can poop on his head. <laughs> I didn't come. Did up you with pay? This. Did you pay this guy? I didn't come uh, up with Paul, that. Did you pay he this guy? He said I paid him, but it's it, he's a very cool guy who wants to make horror movies, and I like him a lot. And we have long conversations at night. And he said, "Yeah, I'm gonna." Uh, hang on, I wasn't finished. Uh, let's see. Uh, at 425 copies, he'll drink fresh hot intern piss <laughs> with a blob of Big A cum in it. Wait, really? How many copies? 
four four twenty five. All right, let's pull our might, resources. You might want to hang uh, hang around for four fifty because people are raising their hands out there. <laughs> at four fifty, they'll pierce Paul's nutsack in four places with a hammer and small nails. <laughs> and I never really. He said he researched all this, but I never got the feeling research that, that I was sure that I was safe under these. Are things. we done with this? No, the similarities <laughs> to Kubrick just keep piling up. <laughs> yeah. No, I really yeah, that's see a Kubrick it. did. All right, and uh, just 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 so you know that this this very long email. Yes, it's like uh, a like Jerry Maguire. Ends, like... <laughs> yeah, just like it. It ends with Dr. Machine Gun saying, uh, Paul is a complete lunatic and cannot handle the pressure of even the most simple of tasks. Mm. Yours truly, Dr. Machine Gun. Yes. I mean, he's a doctor, so he does know well, well. Yeah, he's got doctor in his name mm. and Machine Gun. All right, Louie, obviously you're my biggest critic right now. <laughs> Because I'm one of three people that have seen the movie. <laughs> so. Give me, give me an honest benefit of the doubt. As if we're not sitting here, you know, busting balls, it's truthfully. And we haven't even seen the No Filter Pause. We've seen a few minutes of the movie. Clearly, if you're sitting down to see a movie, <laughs> Louis, we haven't looked at the whole movie. It's just in hysterics laughing the right now, by the way. Or the trajectory yeah, right, of what's right, happening. Right, the trajectory. fact that it's an anti-film and all these things. Give yeah, me the benefit of the doubt. There's, there's some right, people... Give you the benefit of the doubt. You earn, you earn the benefit of the doubt All right, this is with a movie. When you, when you make a movie, you earn the benefit of the doubt by people who watch it and they go, okay, I'll give this the benefit of the doubt. But you... I. Whatever the opposite of the benefit of the doubt is, <laughs> instead is what you establish. Which is, in a way... Is that you don't give a shit what this movie looks like. That's the main thing. But again, if somebody here... I have Look, I've sat through a lot of fucked up movies. Mm -hmm. I've made some fucked up movies. I've taken part in some fucked up production. Before I was in film, even, mm -hmm. there was. I was trying to get him to look it up, but he couldn't find it. There was this guy, when I was a kid, his name was David Van Vactor. And I, I worked for Cablevision in Marblehead, Massachusetts, like covering hockey games and stuff. Oof. And I met this guy through my friend who said, I want to make a move, an avant-garde film. So we brought home some of the video packages from work and shot this guy's movie, which was just him blathering like that. <laughs> and uh, he would make a long speech and read a poem, and then he holds up this jar and he says, look, it's my piss. And he had his piss in a jar. <laughs> and then he'd go back to reading poems. That's what the movie was. <laughs> Uh, That's the, so I've like been this down this film. road, okay? Yeah, it's a fucking epic compared to this <laughs> dog shit. I'd like this to see fucking. This film. But it's everything. So, hold so, on, let him finish, Paul. <laughs> Jesus. And I went. I was once in Harvard and no, at San Francisco at the Castro Movie Theater, and I saw a movie that was uh, it was called Father and Mother. It was a Russian film. And here's I'm going to describe to you 15 minutes of the film. <laughs> So there's a woman dying, and her young son, who's like in his 20s, is sitting next to her, and she's wheezing, and he's watching her wheeze. And then he says, do you want anything? And she says, yeah, I want you to take me out to the sit in the garden. So she, he carries her out, puts her on a bench, and then watches her there. That's 40 minutes of the movie. Holy I'm not kidding. shit. Nothing happens. <laughs> I sat through the whole thing. Because I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, this is at least interesting. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> Don't mind Jimmy. <laughs> He'll snap Sleep? up and say something every so often. There, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Jimmy got all scared. I actually did those. You were frightened. <laughs> all right, so the context all right, all right. is that I don't like mainstream movies. I am the I, fucking target audience right. for this kind of film. But, this is shit. I, no, 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 you I am, not I am the movie. closest you're ever going to get to someone who would See, give a shit. It's literally. And the reason is because they crazy David Van Vactor with his piss poems <laughs> and the fucking retarded Russian, who's mo who I am one of eight people who saw that movie, they really cared about how they made the, it. Didn't mean that they shot it like professionally or slickly. It means that they are with some. They gave a shit. They didn't just fuck up and right. not try again. Mm. They put some thought. They fucking mixed it so you could hear what the guy was saying. I, this so is just first shit. of all, number one. We know yeah. that this is experimental. Oh, film. God, no, okay, that's we it. Know that <laughs> <laughs> it. And we know it's supposed no, to look like this. I just got to defend not. his uh, but, art, no, I guess. Fine, and it's, it's, yeah. you, you ever seen <laughs> the early films, the short films of David Lynch, for Again, instance? Again, David Lynch, <laughs> now. So how dare you, you, you drag him, him into this? He has brought up. Names of legendary <laughs> oh directors, God. artsy directors, and and, and, and yeah. like, uh, and then I look up and just see <laughs> that a wow yeah. sticker on a car. What the, did you do? Any second takes? There were not with the no filter pull stuff because it's all gold. 
It really is. It's all what? <laughs> How bad is the no filter Paul stuff? It's <laughs> so it goes on can we, forever. Can we see maybe? A yeah, just get, bit of get that? to that it's part. Right, it's right now. It's right now. Chap- right oh, it's coming up. This yeah, is one, it? Twenty yeah. minutes. Yeah. Oh, the music. That's in there. I still filter Paul in his car. I'm trying not to laugh. Laying across the leaves. You're asleep. asleep. He fell asleep in his car. Yeah. Where? Yeah, I'm picking up easy prey. Now, now it's just him, shirtless, badly tied up to a chair, bouncing around like a cartoon character. So what? You is this? Put, did you kill him and then put his shirt back on and then? No, I got right. him. He was he drugged out from uh, a night of. Oh god! I had no. And I got him that day. I wasn't getting my message across, but that pig. Well, wait a minute! Now you're so both talking. Now you're talking monstrous. on screen and off screen. <laughs> right. Wait a minute! Now you're now you're There's, fucking narrating and talking at the same time. I I as a not man, on purpose. No, it's because you just fucked that. You as were like, a oh. psycho, I did no. yeah. edit and I did look at my. This and prepare uh, it. And he rips off like clerks. Clark, I was about to say, <laughs> yeah. why are you ripping off Kevin Smith with the uh, with yeah. the dramatic title cards with with the wording like on words on there, and then going uh, to different well, scenes like Kevin Smith. Well, he ripped off people way before that. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Kevin, well, Kevin Smith. we're not we're not arguing Kevin Smith's you know f- filmatic uh, integrity. We're talking about your <laughs> yes. piece of garbage. <laughs> I'm saying that these are things that are not used that often, and they need to be yeah. brought back from time to time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll throw it in there. Sure, why not? Yeah, uh huh. And yeah. what am I saying? Interesting <clears throat> things, you know, uh, musical terms which comment on the action. Not what? How? What comment? There's no comment being made. <laughs> Agitated with excitement. Agitate. Oh, you mean the word comment? The words you actually wrote upon the screen? <laughs> yes. Ah, no. Yeah. The right. message. Well, let her cross anyhow. Any credence to any of you worthless scum, but I will appreciate you enough to avoid the moral bankruptcy of obscenity. I'm telling you, tough sucker! Leaping out anything that he has oh to my say. Because mm. that's not exactly part of my message. This, by the way, to goes on for that. how long? How oh, long it's is probably this a 15 minute scene. Yes, 15, 15 minutes. Oh 15 minutes of just what you're seeing right here. Oh my it's, god. It's Paul trying to get out of the uh, shit of the shitty tie job he jiggles and curses for 14 and a half minutes yeah just uh, jiggling and saying fuck you let me out of here you fucking coke sucker fuck you fuck you uh, and and then uh, paulo is just rambling through the whole thing uh, uh i think we're pretty uh, well engaged in this thing. back and forth cuz no, it's terrible. Some sort of a statement. look how bored he gets uh, between strugglings yeah he kind of looks around like are we done now <laughs> Okay, so then he does that. He looks at people off camera. Yeah, he, he looks at the cameraman. Oh, oh. Hey, there's another special shot, a little insert What's there. What's problem, Dick? Looking I, at I went to the Paul's camera, legs. Adjusted the camera. Fuck you! Fuck you! Because I'm not. And we're still on that shot. <laughs> We're still sitting on this insert shot of his legs. Why are we looking at this? Because this is clearly uh, something that would not be in a normal film. You won't see a shot completely ill framed like that. Am I correct or not? Uh, What the fuck is happening here, Louis C.K.? That's what's happening in this movie. What the fuck is happening? You understand? No, you didn't try. You didn't try. You didn't try. That's exactly it. There wasn't any effort to... No, you didn't try. I you swear. Got sleepy. I swear. To God. <laughs> you In, felt sleepy. Look, it happens all the right. time. You're making Gap. a movie and you go, oh, fuck. I, I, could I just get out of here? And then you go, wait a minute. I got to at least try to. I even if I'm trying to do something shoddy, I got to try to do the best version of it. I yeah. need everybody got, out there. I took somebody $5,000. Gap the movie. Spent it on a fucking, some Use weird clothes that I bought. Promo code. <laughs> uh, Holy shit. I, need, I, I think need. we're finally even with Ron and Fez. <laughs> and the wow. Earl, for the Earl thing. <laughs> Holy shit! It is ex- exactly what what uh, uh, Louis said. It it's not like yeah, you're looking, going. Holy shit! What is this? No, you would do that if the movie was done well and and no, someone yeah. gave a shit about yeah. it. And then you would look and say, wow, what is this? This is kind of weird. And th- mm-hmm. this is like you just 
didn't put effort into it. You you said you wanted to make a care. movie. That's the problem. There was more effort in you saying, I oh. want to make a movie, than making the movie. This yeah. is an anti-film. It is meant no. to... No. Just keep saying this. What is an anti-film, <laughs> What I need way. you to understand is, is that it Fucking means it doesn't a still use picture. the editing process. I no, mean, that's not the case. Yes, but no, here, you, you see, when you... you it, <laughs> When you see a film, most people are willing to put the suspension of belief into a film. They know the process of making a film that has all these edits. Uh, Here we take the editing out. No, you don't, because you edit a lot in this scene. <laughs> yeah, you edit it. That's the thing. Him. You do just enough to show that you didn't give a shit. Uh, we walk to the camera. <laughs> just enough. Turn it off. Turn it back on with a different shot. Spike it's Lee made a movie called uh, Get on the Bus. Mm -hmm. About all the guys, black guys going to the Million Man million March. march right. It's about as simple a movie as you could ask for. Cheap, cheap video camera, and it's just single shots of dialogues. It's fucking great because it's low in scope and in, it's not trying to do much. Right. It's just some dialogue, and but, uh, there's no lighting, and some scenes are hard to look at because they're so dark. I was on a bus. And it's went, oh, <laughs> Man March. I so was. then, so that must mean this movie's good because <laughs> you took a bus once. But he cared about the movie. I went to the Million Man March on a bus. Louis right. was okay, making so a then point. you're right. It's a good movie. You're right. It's a good movie. Well, your point being, the point is that that every that's there are many many movies that do what he says he's doing, <laughs> right. which is let's do away with editing. It's say editing is a is a pre pretense. Right. The editing is a trick. Let's take the school the the the, the tricks out. Uh, you know, let's not have a lot of people do that. That's not what this is. The, the caring, the, the caring about it. Let's no take effort. that out. Just no effort. The effort. Let's just remove any effort and work that yes, goes behind it. The dogma it. people that you <laughs> just mentioned, exactly. and it's even more offensive that you have the education and know better. <laughs> <laughs> the dogma people. <laughs> Because sometimes you see a movie like Out of the Mouth of Babes, you know, you see a movie made by some people who didn't know what the fuck they were doing, and it, there's there's a beauty to looking at it because of how how tragically fucked up it was. <laughs> they didn't know how to do it. That's even better. See that? This I isn't thought, even that. I thought I was gonna get a little of that when I watched this. I was go I was going like, wow, maybe this will be <laughs> fucked up enough where it's hysterical, but it just was fucked up. And it went on and on. He's deep. Wow. I think he's rimming it. Poor he's guy. Right <laughs> <laughs> I love how Jimmy jumps when you wake him he, up. He's my he's my right hand man right now. I just see what it is. I, it's just like ever, ever, I don't want to wreck the movie, man. Because ever, he's, <laughs> you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be I doing just, when you watch this movie. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Jimmy. I just yeah. touched your lips twice with my hand. And you didn't yes. do it. Did yeah, you? So sleepy you were. Yeah, it's in his hiding hole. So. Gap yeah. in consciousness <laughs> seems to be with the. Uh, yeah. I need a little bit of sugar on piece of it. Louis. And this guy I, can't even defend you ironically without falling truthfully, asleep. Truthfully, you're busting my balls. <laughs> truthfully, you're busting my you're balls. Right. You're not really giving me the benefit of the doubt. Right. It's no. like if you walked in he's out being, of the rain into a theater and saw this movie. He's, I go he's back being out into the Jesus rain. Honest. If it was raining AIDS, I'd go back out and open my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'd look up at it like a turkey and drown in AIDS rain. <laughs> After watching three frames of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and run back out into the acid rain and let it eat my body. That's, that's Gle gleefully. Balls. I'm sorry. Thank God Louis was here for this today because uh, we didn't know how to handle this this horse shit. Paulo, oh, fantastic. Uh, I think right. we're gonna wrap up. Yes, sir. Paulo, uh, where can people get the movie? All right, gapthemovie.com. I need you to buy this movie because my life is fucked up. There's a Ron Fez. Not because it's a good movie. Yeah. No, no. It, it is. It's exactly what Steven Spielberg and the rest of them say. Yeah. Time will prove Please you buy this all movie wrong, I need except, of course, by one <laughs> yeah. supporter. But I'm just saying. I'll give you $100 right now if you promise never to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take 145000 right now. <laughs> um, again, gapthemovie.com. Maybe, Maybe I can. <laughs> Ron Fez is the promo code. Uh, I, I do thank you promo for the opportunity. Code. You know, I feel that if enough people buy this movie, there will be a swell, a sure. ground swell. Uh, mm. Movement from this. I swear to God. I swear to sure. God. I mean, we're by the time your grassroots sure. effort is what you need. When exactly. You, a, a you know, this is how a lot swell. of the movement started. They started small. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Hitler back in the third <laughs> round. Right. You got to take the bad with the good. Right. Again, bad, uh, bad analogy. Hitler was. <laughs> He'll love or hate him. <laughs> that man could work a beer hall. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> yes. I have he, he designed his own clothes. I mean, the guy was a fucking, he, he had a knack. 
I haven't gotten. He did have a passion for what he, he did. At, he knew what he wasn't good at. I haven't gotten to the beer school, uh, beer hall uh, stage of the marketing. No, you, that, no, you uh, had it. You're just the World War no. One Hitler. All right, with a funny hat. <laughs> so you're gonna painting. Do, you're gonna stick around and uh, you're doing Ron and Fez today, noon to yes, three. Sir. So hopefully, uh, can't wait hopefully to you go back to doing stunts for Ron and Fez. Thank you, sir. And um, let's, let's go around the room and get the fuck out of here. Um, well, by the way, oh no, he farted again. Or is that just the stench coming off of the movie? <laughs> 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 smell o vision They finally perfected it. <laughs> uh, first, let me throw Directv in. We got a few plugs. Uh, the 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 horseshit review for Gap was brought to you by Directv. Call eight 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 nine six one Directv. Directv. Call eight 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 nine six one Directv. Paulo, uh, I don't I don't know what to tell you, but. It was good radio, I can tell you that much. Well, I, I appreciate it, and believe me, the movement. Uh, this will be the 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 the. the this is going to be no day more. one. This is day one. Absolutely. The, yeah. It's a great movie. Um, I think a glacier is going to move faster than your movement. <laughs> for this I think movie. It starts small and then mushrooms mm -hmm. and yeah. snowballs. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, what do we got, Jimmy? Well, Louis got Caroline's tomorrow night. He's doing a benefit for a school, but it's just Louis doing his act. I'm also in March 14th at the Orphan. Yeah. And I have, um, Boston. I'm doing a show with Artie Lang in, uh, February 21st, uh, at Tower Theater in Philadelphia. Tickets go on sale this Friday morning, uh, at, uh, I guess LiveNation.com or whatever. Ticketmaster. Cool. Because we're leaving, we gotta do a Pro Flowers read. Oh, Hi, we like Pro Flowers. It's going to just sound a little weird just shoving it in here. But hey, it's not even a read. We're just bringing it up. Yeah, we were flowing with uh, the Gap thing. And, and we just decided, thing. you know something, Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah, sure and, is. Uh, it. You want to get your sweetie something? Sure. What are you going to do? You're going to wait till the last minute and freak out. That's what everybody does. Mm -hmm. You could order now from Pro Flowers. Get it out of the way. Get 18 red roses and a free ruby red vase. Mm. Only 39 Ninety nine, and then like Valentine's Day's a couple of weeks away. Mm -hmm. Now you're done, stress free. You're not freaking Easy. out for uh, a couple of weeks, and it's something good that she's really going to uh, admire. And they figured out the flowers in the mail thing. Yep, I'm telling you because we order from uh, these people all the time, and the flowers are like I don't know how they do it. It's amazing. You're going to be very happy. The listeners have done this over the years. They know it. They know what we're talking about. Proflowers.com. And what? They got the promo code thing? Yes, the promo code. Uh, you go to proflowers.com. You click on that microphone. It's in the upper right-hand corner. Right. Go ahead. I'll wait. I, mm -hmm. I promise you, if you go to bro, uh, proflowers.com, you won't have to buy uh, Gap. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. You won't have to buy Gap. But you can do both. Oh. No, no. They, they're, 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 these guys don't have much money, so it's either Flowers or Gap, and I highly recommend they get their flowers for their loved ones. Proflowers.com. Yeah. Click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and uh, you type in Opie, O-P-I-E. Or you could call them, 1-800-PRO-FLOWERS, P-R-O-FLOWERS, and mention Opie. Just say Opie. They'll be like, what? No, they'll, they'll know. Uh, and you're going to get beautiful... Flowers, 18 red roses, free ruby red vase, only thirty nine ninety nine. It's the early bird deal. Expires uh, Friday, so don't be waiting. This is your chance. You can do it right now. Do it right now. I'll yeah. wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Shh. All right. 1-800-PRO-Flowers. <laughs> God, they never remember the number. Or proflowers.com. Right. Uh, click on the microphone. Type in Opie. Louis, it was a pleasure. I hope we didn't uh, no, make you suffer too much with this no, movie thing, but you were perfect ball. for the reviewing of <laughs> the movie. Good he luck. Good luck with film. it, sir. Good he luck. Does understand film? I have. I I I look, I, you know, good luck to you. And Louis, come so. see you soon before you hit the road again, all right? <laughs> yes, I will. The great Louis C.K. Everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget that we have to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we 